invited Institute of Physical Education deemed to be university. Uh, that is Lakshmi Bai National Institute of Physical Education. It's deemed to be university from Gwalior. The stakeholders of this institution will be explaining their best practices adopted by them during the process. The whole intention is to provide an information to the uh, all the uh, higher education institutions throughout the country so that they can benefit the best practices adopted by the A double plus HEIs specifically. So uh, the title for this webinar today is Promoting Health and Wellness Through Physical Education. To elaborate the same, I request our advisor, Dr. Shamsundar sir, to enlighten us. Yes, Dr. Shamsundar sir, please. Uh, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, uh, on behalf of National Assessment and Accreditation Council, on behalf of our beloved director, Professor S.T. Sharma, on behalf of all the members of the MAC family, and on my personal behalf, I would like to welcome each one of you for this very important uh, webinar uh, series of uh, best practices. Actually, MAC has taken this type of uh, a digital innovative initiative under the dynamic leadership of our director, Professor S. Sharma, to create awareness among all the higher education institutions about various best practices which had been followed by A double plus higher education institutions. As on date, right now we may have uh, 26 A double plus higher education institutions in the whole country, but the earlier days. Uh, the higher education institutions were, were very much shy to share best practices or they were not aware of how to implement best practices. But that's why MAC has taken this type of uh, yeah, digital initiative to create awareness of these best practices. Because best practices have not come from the heaven. Best practices, in my opinion, best practices are those practices which can contribute significantly to your, your own higher education institution or can be called best practices. This can be called good practices, innovative practices, next practices, whatever you want to call, call no problem. Terminology per se doesn't have much impact. But the only thing is you have to practice, you have to inculcate this best practice culture in your own institution. Because most of the time, this can be, this can have impact at the individual level, at the institutional level, and levels might be different, but practicing best practices or good practices are very much important. Sometimes it might be very simple, sometimes it might be very much complicated, sometimes impact might be very, very significant, sometimes it might be less significant. For example, in that, we have banned uh, plastic. Banning plastic per se may not have uh, much impact for our own organization, but directly or indirectly, we are helping our society, we are contributing a lot to the society, contributing to our country, contributing to our mother earth by banning plastic in the whole campus. In the same way, other institutions also can go for this type of good practices. For example, our uh, uh, Dr. Devendra Kaur, he has used a nice backdrop of MAC. That is also a good practice in my opinion. Because see, I think it might be very simple for him. Because for me, it is very much complicated because I have not learned the trick of uh, using the backdrop. Because using the backdrop also can be a best practice at, at the individual level. Maybe at the institutional level also it's a good practice because it enhances uh, the image or professionalism of our institution. Maybe I think all the organizations also can follow this type of good practices. This might be a very simple practice. You are participating in the webinar per se itself is a good practice. Maybe we may not have in the entire country, we may not have this culture of participating in the webinar itself. This is a digital innovative initiative taken by many organizations. Even our beloved Prime Minister has suggested all of us to transform all the challenges into opportunities. Exactly we are doing the same thing. So even in MAC, when our, our director, Professor S. Sharma, he has taken very many initiatives. Even I think one is banning plastic. Another is uh, uh, clearing the files very quickly. On the same day, all the files will be cleared. Or even he has taken the initiative of IMS, that issue management system. 
I take the example of any of the higher education institutions in the country. You send any query in 24 hours, you would get some response. This itself is a good practice. In that way, at the individual level, see, tell me which government body can respond to you in 24 hours. Whereas in the case of Mac, in 24 hours, just like that, we will respond to you. That itself is a good practice from the Mac side. And you see, the new starting webinars, our professor Amya Kumar of ICT head, he has taken initiative. And he, now we have conducted more than 200 webinars for different stakeholders to create awareness. You know, creation of awareness also is a best practice from the quality assurance agency side. In the same way, even higher education institutions also can go for various best practices. And it's very simple. You have to implement best practices. That is the first step. Second step, step might be institutionalization. Third step might be internalization. So institutionalization, I mean, making the best practices an integral part of your institution is institutionalization. Making the best practices an integral part of the individual is called internalization. Once if you do these two steps, then last step would be dissemination. You have to disseminate best practices because if by chance, if some of the best practices are very successful, very it has got very good impact in your own institution, then other institutions also should emulate those best practices. That's why, in my opinion, it is a social responsibility of all of us to disseminate the best practices which have been followed uh, by all the higher education institutions. Actually, with this, uh, uh, we have started this uh, webinar, the best practices webinar series, now promoting health and wellness. That is the order of the day, especially in the COVID-19 pandemic situation. I think this is the right digital platform. It, that, that itself is a good practice, good initiative. That's why I think we have one. I think in my opinion, uh, best practices can be borrowed practices also. Nothing wrong. Borrowed best practices. Implement it. Inculcate the culture among all the faculty, faculty members. Maybe in your own, for example, at the individual level, you might be doing some yoga, meditation, pranayama, especially during this COVID-19 situation, this is very good. And that itself is a good practice. Now, the topic also is promoting health and wellness. At the individual level, if you practice, cumulatively, that will be very good. So even if I have to take the example of yoga, at least learn one good yoga asana per week or per fortnight and practice continuously. Then that particular asana, you can attain a perfection and that, that, will, that, that will become yours. Maybe after two months or after a quarter, you can do that particular yoga asana in a much, much better way. That itself uh, will be inculcated, embedded to your body. That itself is a good practice. And cumulatively, if all faculty members in every institution practice, in my opinion, that is a best practice. And that can be emulated by other institutions. In the way, there are so many best practices which have been followed by all these AW plus institutions. And that would be uh, uh, showcased by those, those institutions concerned. And today, uh, one of the eminent AW plus institutions from Madhya Pradesh would be, pres would be presenting showcasing their best practices that would be a good initiative and uh, so many people from that uh, uh, deep university has taken a lot of initiatives to showcase uh, uh, these institutions i hope this would be very much useful to all the stakeholders uh, and uh, i wish all of you all the very best and many institutions might be participating to present to this particular presentation i wish all the uh, higher education institutions all the very best to reach the pinnacle on the plateau of higher education. Yeah, thank you very much. I request Dr. Pratiba, madam, to please introduce the guests and invite them for the speech. Yes, Dr. Pratiba. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, the eminent academicians who will be the part of this webinar uh, in this particular uh, initiative, I would like to first introduce the honor, uh, Professor Dilip Kumar Gureha. Uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor Lakshmi uh, by National Institute of Physical Education, Gwalior. His area of specialization is sports psychology, sports biomechanics, and field uh, hockey. And uh, he is a recipient of Lifetime Achievement Award towards his contribution in the field of physical education and a member of All India Council of Sports, Government of India. Then 
a member of different committees for the enhancement of sports culture in India and uh, is a, basically a president uh, of Sports Psychology Association of India uh, from the year uh, for a period of 1st April 2016 for uh, four years. And he is also an expert member for the Advisors Committee of Physical Education and uh, UGC Special Assistance Program. Uh, then he is an external expert for the physical education for MAC also. And uh, he has presented many articles, 38 international and uh, at 68 national level articles he has published. And uh, then he has guided uh, 20 uh, research uh, as a, at a PhD level. And uh, he is also a member of International Coaching Commission of ICHPER. And uh, he's a technical uh, official for Commonwealth Game for 2010 uh, uh, held at New Delhi. Uh, now, let me introduce the second speaker of uh, today's webinar from Lakshmi Bhai uh, Institution, National Institution, uh, Professor Sabya Sachi Mukherjee. He is uh, basically a dean academics and head of the Department of Physical Pedagogy. And uh, it is all, he is also holding the charge of director IQAC and having qualification of BP, MP, PhD. He has published more than 40 research articles in the national and international levels and also has a PhD guidance of about 35 uh, research scholars. Uh, he visited many countries, including USA, as a volleyball coach under the Indo-US Indian Sub-Commission Program. He is a recipient of the Best Teacher Award conferred for the 5th September by Gwalior Development Committee. And he coached uh, Mr. Avinash Kumar Yadav and uh, uh, Kulwan Singh, uh, representing the Asian Youth uh, for the SAF Games in 2004 at Pakistan. Uh, after introducing these two eminent speakers for the today's webinar, uh, these are the, uh, uh, let me uh, take the uh, initial names of the other uh, panelists who will be uh, there in this particular webinar holding the uh, question answer session. Uh, Professor Vivek Pandey, Dean Sports Sciences and Professor G.D. Ghai, and also Professor uh, Dr. Avinash uh, Pulkar. Uh, he is a member of IQAC team. So now uh, let me invite the speakers of today's webinars. Uh, over to you, Sir Dilip Kumar uh, Dureha, sir. Thank you very much. Now you can begin your presentation. Good morning. Uh, before, uh, can you hear me, madam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, first of all, I extend my grateful thanks to Professor S.C. Sharma, Mr. Sham Sundarji, and all team of NEC for giving us opportunity good to good morning to join this good webinar. Good Sir, maybe your bandwidth is a little low, it seems, sir. That's why voice is not continuously coming, sir. Now, it will go through our uh, presentation. No, no, it's okay, sir. Continue, sir. We have been. Uh, we are. Our theme is promoting health and wellness through physical education, because we are dealing with the sports fraternity. And if you see our first slide, that you see the first slide. The for the student, it is for the students and it is very challenging. The road is very tough, but destination is very beautiful. And we prepare our students to face these challenges 
ओवरकम इट एंड देन रीच एट द डेस्टिनेशन जैसे स्वामी विवेकानंद जी ने कहा है जागो उठो और चलो और तब तक ना रुको जब तक आपको आपके लक्ष्य की प्राप्ति ना हो जाए इसी थीम को लेके हम अपने संस्थान में चलते हैं और उसकी वजह से ही हम आगे लगातार बढ़ रहे हैं अब हम अपने उसको देखते हैं जो हमारे सामने इस समय चैलेंजेस हैं तो चैलेंजेस में हम देखते हैं कि इंडिया इज अमोंगेस्ट द यंगेस्ट नेशन इन द वर्ल्ड विद नियरली 140 मिलियन पीपल इन द कॉलेज गोइंग एज ग्रुप एंड वन एवर फोर ग्रेजुएट इन द वर्ल्ड बाय 2030 अगर हम नीचे देखें कि व्हाट इज बाय 2030 इट इज ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग चैलेंजेस फॉर इंडियन हायर एजुकेशन कि एक्सेसिबिलिटी क्या है इक्विटी क्या है इक्विटी क्या है एंड अफोर्डेबल कैसे है If we see, give example of our institute, Mera, our institute can that there is no caste, creed, and category system. We are all are equal, all are players, all are there, and their equity is there. No racial system. We give equal opportunity to weaker section, even for higher section students, and that's why there is equality. Everybody get equal chance, and we select them on the basis of total fairness. and our uh, criteria is very transparent and it is affordable also for below bpl card because any student throughout the india you see we are being called mini india hum log ko mini india kaha jata hai because pure hindustan ke jitne bhi states hain wo pure states se hamare yahan ke bacche padhte hain aur isiliye chahe wo bpl card ke niche ka bachcha ho chahe poor ho chahe ews wale economical weaker section ke students ho चाहे कोई भी फैसिलिटीज हो हमको देते हैं स्कॉलरशिप देते हैं जो वीकर सेक्शन के बच्चे हैं या वीपीएल कार्ड के नीचे के बच्चे हैं हम उनको वो बहुत टैलेंटेड होते हैं हमको जाने नहीं देते हमारे एलुमिनीज ने उनके लिए स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर फंड बनाया है और ये वेलफेयर फंड उनकी फीस को देता है जिससे कि वो अपने टैलेंट को निखार के अच्छी अच्छी पोजिशन पे पहुंचते हैं हम उनको बहुत अच्छी एजुकेशन देते हैं और विद गुड वैल्यूज एंड सबसे बड़ी हम इंश्योर करते हैं उनका प्लेसमेंट बहुत अच्छा रहे If you see the structure of the current scenario, especially in the uh, new education policy, and uh, we have four tier system: research universities, they are center for excellence for creation and research. It, uh, for example, IITs, JNU, medical, bio, technology, BHU, etc. Comprehensive universities, where industry aligned focus on quality teaching and higher employability, like uh, IIM, triple ITM, NITs, higher accessible, higher quality college institutes. we cover two number 3 and number 4 and offer wide range of courses aimed at providing holistic education in india like example in bhu lnip delhi university bangalore university they all are providing variety of courses in a multidisciplinary approach and we are also doing the same thing health and wellness and promoting university offer wide range of courses in physical education yoga and sports sciences and lnip lnip is leading in that if you go for the university and the health in 21st century then we see the how what characteristics make a university distinct if you see the example of my institute mere institute ko dekhte hain quality research work we are by our quality research work we have very established uh, research labs very outstanding research scholars as well as uh, our teachers are very efficient they are helping them for a quality research work which is helping in enhancing performance enhancing their fitness level research oriented research especially in the field of sports health yoga and multidisciplinary approach especially you will see this is the only university where we pay 100% uh, 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 money is been spended for our scholars as we get an inter international exposure jiski wajah se wo bahar jate hain apna paper present karte hain apni research ko accept karate hain this is the work which we are doing high employability we have more than 100% of placement we, uh, that placement is not just for 5000 10000 rupees it is for highly paid government and non government job not only non government job but on the private sectors and uh, in different hotels film industries industries even army and paramilitary forces and uh, we promote entrepreneurship and in diverse area so it can be helpful for high employability for our students good branding lnip is like a isi mark in india is very in the whole india we are covering you see our alumni 
95% in whole India, if any department, any sports department, any research center, you see our alumni sitting there. They are contributing right from school to higher education. They are contributing a lot and, pro and providing this base, especially for making every citizen healthy and fit citizen. And uh, not only here, even in international level, and uh, we are our students are working in different countries, and uh, uh, we have good management system. We have management trainees, those who are working in the different areas. We have innovative concepts. We have very innovative uh, in our institute. We have innovative uh, curriculum. We have student support system. We have outreach programs, various skill development programs, e-governance, advanced research collaborations with IT and medical areas like one of my PhD scholar, he is very efficiently working on genes. And uh, so we get a fruitful results. We have faculty development program and we have positive counseling system. What attracts students to an institute? Kya karta hai? They basically depends on the four more uh, main factors, that is academics, facilities, recreation and sports, and employability. If you take an example of LNIP, our academics have a variety of courses. On that, these courses which are distance mode, online, bhi hai, offline, bhi hai, regular students, ke liye bhi hai, because our regular students go 100% hostel. Mein rehna padta hai. So there is a one to one interaction. There's, so academics has been enhanced. And with uh, this, academics is based on the holistic approach with full of values, importance is given to health, fitness, wellness, and we are preparing not go, uh, not only good teachers, but uh, healthy uh, sports administrator, health workers uh, who are working in different fields in the country. If you go, the facilities, our uh, we are famous for the facilities, and this is especially attracting throughout the country, every student for every state, even from foreign country like uh, Mauritius, even now this year, Brazil students and the Zimbabwe and Nigerian students also approached us to get admission in our university. And we have a, uh, the facility, we have an excellent academic block, very high tech laboratory, 100% residential hostel area, international hostel, ambulance for good health services, medical insurance for the students and staff, shopping center, bank, post office, ATM, student club, student literary, literary society, eco-friendly environment. Now, this comes to the recreation and sport. It relates because we have a student club, we take care of them. We have very good mentor mentee system. We have uh, our students are being counseled and being promoted every time, whether it belongs to poor family or any family. Unke and the jo infinity complex, usko hum nikal dete hain, or a both a child citizen, banake, both a child teacher, banake, both a child administrator, banake, usko ban dikalte hain. Uski vaja hai ki hamare inter classes hai. We have a competition, we have a host, we have a different cultural event, 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 our adventure club, है, leaders, है, training camps, है, leaders training camp, है, sports for all level, right from district level to international level, to national level, to international level. Our children, as their level is high performance, we provide facilities and we train them. Our teachers we train them. We give them all kinds of scientific support and all kinds of facilities. These are the जो हमारे इंस्टीट्यूट में अट्रैक्ट करती है और लास्ट में अगर हम देखते हैं एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी मैंने जैसे पहले कहा कि वे हैव मोर देन 100% एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी जैसे गवर्नमेंट नॉन गवर्नमेंट प्राइवेट इंडस्ट्री फिल्म मीडिया स्कूल आर्मी एंड पैरा मिलिट्री फोर्सेस होटल्स सेल्फ फिटनेस सेंटर्स एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप एक्सेट्रा एंड इफ यू गो डाउन वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन यूथ ऑफ टुडे व्हाट ही वांट ही वांट अ बेस्ट फ्यूचर इन द कंट्री we as future of the country and this all based on healthy body with healthy mind in the healthy environment now we go to the next slide that is called demo effect domino effect 
अगर आप इस स्लाइड को देखते हैं एंड और आप हमारी फिजिकल एजुकेशन को डिफाइन करते हैं तो फिजिकल एजुकेशन इज वॉट फिजिकल एजुकेशन इज दउंड होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ इंडिविजुअल तो हम यहाँ पे जो ये लर्निंग इंटीग्रेटेड वे में दिखाई है कि डेमनो इफेक्ट के अंदर कि उनका इमोशनल और स्पिरिचुअल फिजिकल रिलेशनल एंड सोशल जो कम्बाइंड इंटीग्रेटेड वे में बेस्ट लर्निंग दे सकती है वो हम डे टू डे पिछले कितने सालों से हम ये काम करते चले आ रहे हैं क्योंकि तो हमारी थीम फिजिकल एजुकेशन की टोटली बेसिक उसके ऊपर है कि इट इज अलराउंड होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट हम लोग हमारे बच्चे मोर स्टेबल होते हैं क्योंकि हमारे बच्चे जीतना भी जानते हैं हारना भी जानते हैं और वो हार को बहुत पॉजिटिव तरीके से लेते हैं और उस पॉजिटिव तरीके से वो हार के उससे सीखते हैं और फिर आके उसको जीतने की कोशिश करते हैं हमारे यहाँ स्पिरिचुअल है हम इसमें हर कास्ट एंड क्रीड को कवर करते हैं सबके फंक्शंस को सबके धर्मों को हम मनाते हैं और बहुत अच्छी तरह मनाते हैं फिजिकल एजुकेशन को देखें तो हम फिटनेस फॉर ऑल नॉर्म्स हमने कंट्री को दिए हैं हम जो भारतीय आपने देखा हुआ इतने वर्षों पहले हुआ था वो यहीं से तैयार किया गया था जिसको कि आज सारे इंडिया ने अडॉप्ट किया हम लोगों ने जो हमारे रिलेशन है वो सोशल रिलेशन खिलाड़ियों के बहुत सबसे अच्छे होते हैं चाहे वो विरोधी टीम के खिलाड़ी के संग हो हम जहाँ भी जाते हैं टीमें हमारी जहाँ भी जाती हैं वहाँ एक सोशल रिलेशन बनाती हैं और यही नहीं कि वो सोशल रिलेशन टाइम भी है वो सबको संग हरदम जब भी जिसको जरूरत होती है वो सोशल रिलेशन उनका करते हैं हेल्प करते हैं दूसरे खड़े रहते हैं और ये सोशल जो रिलेशनशिप है ये जो है ये बहुत अच्छा होती है क्योंकि नो वन इज लूजर इन इंटरनेट नो स्टूडेंट इज लूजर इट इज अ टाइम फैक्टर जिसकी जो अच्छा होता है बेस स्किलफुल होता है वो जीत जाता है और जो होता है तो हम अपने बच्चों को ये सिखाते हैं कि हार के भी हमें जीतना है और हमें दोबारा मेहनत करनी है अपनी कमियों को दूर करना है तो ये जो इंटीग्रेशन है तो ये हमारे यहाँ जो एकेडमिक पर्सन फाइनेंशियल हेड कंसर्न भी हम देते हैं क्योंकि ये जो लर्निंग है ये लर्निंग हमारे को जो हम कम्युनिटी में जाते हैं हमारे स्टूडेंट्स ये नहीं कि वो अपनी सिर्फ नौकरी करने जाते हैं वो जहाँ भी जाते हैं स्कूलों में कॉलेजों में कम्युनिटी में सोसाइटीज के अंदर वो वहाँ हेल्थ वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम चलाते हैं वो कम्युनिटी को मदद करते हैं और वहाँ पे उनके अंदर एक कॉन्शियसनेस जगाने की कोशिश करते हैं और इसका रिजल्ट बढ़ाए जैसे हम कहते हैं फिजिकल एजुकेशन टीचर इज ए ह्यूमन इंजीनियर वो आजकल हमने देखा है कि हम लोग क्या डॉक्टर्स वगैरह हमारे यहाँ रिकमेंड करते हैं कि इनकी शुगर ज्यादा हो गई है प्लीज इनको कुछ प्रोग्राम दीजिए तो हम लोग फिटनेस प्रोग्राम उनको देते हैं इनका हार्ट की प्रॉब्लम है तो इनको आप योगा थेरेपी दीजिए किसी का स्ट्रेस की प्रॉब्लम है तो हम मेडिटेशन के थ्रू उसको करते हैं तो ये ऑलराउंड डेवलपमेंट हम करते हैं जिससे कि हमारे यहाँ ना सिर्फ अच्छे टीचर तैयार होते हैं बल्कि अच्छे लीडर्स भी तैयार होते हैं अगर हम देखते हैं ये हेल्थ कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वेलनेस प्रोमोटिंग इज टू तो हम लोग उसमें लीड करते हैं क्योंकि हेल्थ प्रमोशन इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल ग्रुप इंस्टीट्यूशनल कम्युनिटी एंड सिस्टमेटिक स्ट्रेटेजी टू इम्प्रूव द हेल्थ नॉलेज एटीट्यूड स्किल्स एंड बिहेवियर टू नेक्स्ट इज टू पर्पज ऑफ हेल्थ प्रमोशन इज टू पॉजिटिवली इन्फ्लुएंस द लाइफ स्टाइल ऑफ ईच इंडिविजुअल ऑफ द कंट्री एंड वर्किंग कंडीशन दैट इन्फ्लुएंस देयर हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस आजकल आप देखते होंगे कि बहुत से लोगों की बारिश को साइकिल चेंज हो जाती है क्योंकि वो क्या है उनके ऊपर इतना लोड है खासतौर से इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया में या प्राइवेट सेक्टर में जो मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज में काम करते हैं उनका वर्क लोड इतना ज्यादा होता है कि उनका काम का लोड होता है चाहे वो वर्क फ्रॉम होम से करें चाहे ऑफिस में करें तो लाइफ स्टाइल चेंज होता है वो उसकी वजह से वो जंक फूड खाते हैं और जंक फूड खाने की वजह से उनका सब उनकी जो हेल्थ है वो सफर करती है तो हमारा जो पर्पज है जो हम उनको पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड सीखते हैं कि किस तरह से अच्छी हेल्थ के साथ अच्छी वर्किंग कंडीशन में विदाउट स्ट्रेस आपको काम करना है अच्छा न्यूट्रिशन फूड खाना है जिसकी वजह से आपको फायदा हो और यूनिवर्सिटी कमिटेड टू द प्रिंसिपल हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी जो है वो इस पर हंड्रेड परसेंट काम कर रही है हेल्थ फॉर ऑल एंड विद सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट कैन बी ट्रिमेंडस एसेट टू देर स्टाफ एंड स्टूडेंट और इसकी वजह से हेल्थ फॉर ऑल इज नॉट कन्फाइन टू द इंस्टीट्यूट लेकिन हमारे टीचर्स जो हैं या हमारे स्टूडेंट जो हैं वो इसको अपना एक एसेट समझते हैं जिसके वजह से हमारे वर्किंग कल्चर बहुत अच्छा है वर्क बच्चे लोग काम करते हैं और उसको वो यहाँ ही नहीं अपनी कम्युनिटी में अपनी सोसाइटी में कम्युनिकेट करते हैं जिससे कि जो बेटर सोसाइटी को हम कवर करते हैं जहाँ वो ट्रेनिंग जाके या वो स्टूडेंट जाके अपने एज्यूम कोई प्रोफेशनल रोल्स के लिए जाता है उस संग में ये एडिशनल रोल भी हेल्थ फॉर ऑल सबके लिए करता है 
अब हम आते हैं देर इज नो पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम फॉर हेल्थ एंड वेल्थ दे मस्ट एंटर द ईस्ट सिस्टम अगर हम देखें तो स्पोर्ट्स इज ए बेसिकली इंडस्ट्री एंड हेल्थ इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट की प्लेइंग की रोल इन दैट आप देखिए चाहे पॉलिटिक्स हो अच्छे लीडर्स को हेल्थ की जरूरत है साइंसिस्ट साइंटिस्ट हैं जो जो स्कॉलर्स जो काम कर रहे हैं क्योंकि तो वो दिन रात काम कर रहे हैं उनको भी बहुत अच्छी हेल्थ की जरूरत है जो एजुकेशन में हमारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं अलग अलग विधाओं में वो अपनी पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं स्पेशलाइजेशन अलग है लेकिन उनको भी अच्छी हेल्थ की जरूरत है जो हमारे इकोनॉमिस्ट हैं या इकोनॉमी की वजह से अगर हेल्थ अच्छी है तो उनके हेल्थ अच्छी होने से उनकी जो इंडिविजुअल की या उनकी फैमिलीज की या कम्युनिटी वाइज देख लिए उनकी इकोनॉमी भी स्टेबल रहती है और फैमिलीज सबसे ज्यादा इफेक्ट होती है आज जो कोविड नाइन्टीन चल रहा है इसमें हमारे यहाँ के मैंने देखता कि हमारे के बच्चों ने इतना अच्छा सबको प्रमोट किया जहाँ जहाँ वो गए हुए हैं बच्चे जहाँ जहाँ रह रहे हैं क्योंकि तो सारे बच्चे इस समय घरों पे हैं कि वो फैमिलियों में स्ट्रेस नहीं आने दे रहे हैं वो उनको बता रहे हैं कि छोटे के स्पेस के साथ कैसे इम्प्रोवाइज करके वो अपनी हेल्थ को मेंटेन कर सकते हैं न्यूट्रिशन डाइट को ले सकते हैं और सबसे बड़ी चीज है स्पोर्ट्स एंड एक्सरसाइज जब रेगुलर आप आधा घंटे खेलिए आधा घंटे वॉक करिए एक्सरसाइज करिए वो आपके लिए बहुत फ्रूटफुल होता है एंड फॉर विद गुड फिटनेस एंड हेल्थी एनवायरमेंट एंड प्रैक्टिस ये बहुत जरूरी है जिसकी वजह से प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ती है गुड ऑफ आपकी जो सिटीजन है वो हमारा अपकमिंग सिटीजन वो बहुत अच्छा तरीके से बढ़ता है अगर अब आप आ जाए बैकग्राउंड एंड जस्टिफिकेशन इंडस्ट्री है पोटेंशियल टू मेक सिग्निफिकेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन टू हेल्थ ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन टू इम्प्रूव स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्टाफ वेलबींग हमारे जो है वो डेवलपमेंट विद पॉजिटिविटी हमारे स्टूडेंट जो है एंड स्टाफ जो है वो हर जगह जहाँ भी जाते हैं वो एक मैसेज छोड़ के आते हैं कि हाउ टू डेवलप विद पॉजिटिविटी वाइडर रेंज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट है हमारे जिसकी वजह से हमारे बच्चों को एम्प्लॉयमेंट बहुत मिलता है ये सिर्फ वो टीचर या स्पोर्ट्स ऑफिसर या एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर की काम नहीं करते हैं बल्कि वो सोसाइटी के लिए काम करते हैं विद वाइडर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इम्पैक्ट इम्प्रूव प्रोडक्टिविटी जिसकी वजह से क्या होता है उसका असर क्या होता है कि जब हेल्थ अच्छी रहती है फिटनेस रहती है और वो स्वस्थ रहते हैं अच्छा भोजन करते हैं तो उनकी प्रोडक्टिविटी बनती है उनकी एफिशिएसी बनती है उनकी आपस में हारमोनी बढ़ती है उनकी टीम कोसिवनेस क्योंकि वहाँ ऑटोमेटिकली जो वॉलेंटियर्स हैं वो आके ज्वाइन करते हैं वो सीखते हैं और वो उस चीज को आगे के लिए कन्वे करते हैं जिसकी वजह से लॉन्ग टर्म इन्फ्लुएंस होता है हर कम्युनिटी में वो लॉन्ग टर्म इन्फ्लुएंस की वजह से वो फिट करते हैं अपने अपने सोसाइटीज में फिटनेस पे ध्यान देते हैं जैसे मॉर्निंग वॉकर्स है अपने फिटनेस क्लब्स हैं या वो फिटनेस क्लब है भी नहीं तो वो अपने लेवल पे ओपन स्पेस में अपने एक्सरसाइज कर सकते हैं हेल्थ को मेंटेन कर सकते हैं वेलनेस को बढ़ा सकते हैं वेलनेस के हर सिटीजन की बढ़ा सकते हैं थ्रू सोशल इंस्टीट्यूट कम्युनिटी सर्विसेज एंड टू मेक स्ट्रॉन्ग एवरी यूथ सिटीजन टू मेक स्ट्रॉन्ग नेशन तो दिस इज द थीम कि अगर हमारे बच्चे मेहनत करेंगे तो स्ट्रॉन्ग बच्चे होंगे वो स्ट्रॉन्ग वैसे कम्युनिटी में जाके स्ट्रॉन्ग सिटीजन को डेवलप करेंगे जिसकी वजह से हमारा नेशन जो है वो स्ट्रॉन्ग हुए अब हम आते हैं अपने इंस्टीट्यूट के ऊपर हमारा इंस्टीट्यूट की स्थापना 1957 में हुई एंड वी गॉट द नेशनल स्टेटस इन 1973 व्हेन इट वाज कॉल्ड नेशनल लक्ष्मीबाई नेशनल कॉलेज ऑफ इन नाइनटीन वी गॉट द ऑटोनोमस स्टेटस एंड देन इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव टू यूनिवर्सिटी by uh, uh, ministry government of india and from then only they are working on it and if you see our logo isme likha hai sharir madhyam khalu dharm sadhana iska matlab hai sharir hi sabhi dharmo matlab kartavyo ko pura karne ka sadhan hai arthat sharir ko sehatmand banaye rakhna zaruri hai isi ke hone se sabhi ka hona hai athai sharir ki raksha aur use nirogi rakhna मनुष्य का सब प्रथम कर्तव्य है पहला सुख निरोगी काया इसी के साथ हम अपने बच्चों को डेवलप करते हैं आगे बढ़ाते हैं जिसकी वजह से वो जाके एज ए एम्बेसडर पूरी सोसाइटी में काम करते हैं कंट्री लेवल पे काम करते हैं हर सेक्टर में काम करते हैं और इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे भी वो काम करके कंट्री का नाम ऊंचा करते हैं अब नेक्स्ट इज अवर अवार्ड एंड रिकॉग्निशन हमारे ये ऑलमोस्ट नाइनटीन का बना हुआ इंस्टीट्यूट जिस तरह से आगे बढ़ रहा है उस हिसाब से हमको 1977 में टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन में हमको नेक के टीम जो आई उन्होंने हमको चेक किया और उन्होंने हमको ए डेवलप ग्रेडिंग विद सी जी पी ए सेवन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन दिया 
it was a great honor and and the award for the institute and uh, and for our sports ministry then we were declared by the ugc category 1 deemed university then uh, we which we were lacking we were given 12b status now it is another field open for the different projects and still 15 projects are going on we got in the uh, vigyan bhavan in the 11th national education summit humko excellence suit of physical education india ka award mila phir humko grand jury award in sports and co curricular education ke andar education award ne humko bangalore mein diya second rank ki humko phir hamare jo government ki organization hai postmaster journal madhya pradesh unhone hamare naam se ek special cover nikala jab humne 60 years ka apne diamond jubilee ke pura kiye 2017 mein hi aur abhi hamare इंस्टीट्यूट के नाम से एक स्टैम्प भी निकलने जा रहा है इंस्टीट्यूट को जो है हम वो हमको परमिशन दी यूसी ने कि हमें ओपन एंड डिस्टेंस मोड लर्निंग में अपने एजुकेशन अदर कोर्सेज को भी हम शुरू कर सकते हैं ऑनलाइन मोड के अंदर एंड सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो अभी रिसेंटली हुआ हमको इंटरनेशनल एसोसिएशन ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन स्पोर्ट्स इंडस्ट्री की जो है उन्होंने हमको ना सिर्फ मेम्बरशिप दी रिकॉग्नेशन दी और आगे हमारा संग एमओयू साइन के बहुत सी कंट्रीज के लोग जो मेंबर्स थे मेंबर कंट्री जिसकी वजह से हमारे को बहुत अच्छा फ्यूचर हो गया हमारे बच्चों के लिए बहुत अच्छा फ्यूचर हो गया हमारे फैकल्टी के लिए हो गया क्योंकि ये एमओयू जो आ गया हमारे प्रोफेसर मुखर्जी आपको बताएंगे उसकी वजह से हमारे फैकल्टी को एक्सपोजर हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को एक्सपोजर हमारे स्कूल को एक्सपोजर मिलेगा जो जाएंगे बच्चे यहाँ जाएंगे वो लोग यहाँ से तो मैं अपने वाणी को भी यहाँ विराम देता हूँ ना अब मैं प्रोफेसर मुखर्जी से रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ कि वो अपने इसको आगे बढ़ाए in a very conducive teaching learning condition and thus we develop or we create leaders for today and tomorrow for the nation and by inspiring youth and to evolving them uh, excuse me mukherjee ji excuse me mukherjee ji your presentation is not visible aapka presentation lagaiye aap Uh, because sir, uh, Dilip sir has uh, sir actually 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 you have to give sh sharing. Ah, uh, not it Dilip. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. The institute institute which is enriched faculty and the man making education system aimed at development of the physical. social emotional spiritual and mental development of the personality of a young students of this institution by trained professionals and in a very conducive teaching learning environment in this institution and thus we create leaders for today and tomorrow for this nation by inspiring you through the physical education activities and the program We have got the seven departments in this regard: the physical education pedagogy, which looks after the basic need of the physical education and its program. Then we have got exercise physiology department. We have got sports biomechanics departments of sports psychology, the department of health sciences, and sports management and coaching and yogic sciences. We not only develop the theoretical knowledge of the students but also we provide the opportunity to the students to get experimented or do the experiment and do the research into the lab and we have got the very enriched and the very sophisticated lab in our institution that's why we have got developed we have developed exercise physiology lab anthropometric lab sports biomechanics lab health and physics like lab sports psychology lab yoga and natural health lab yoga and the computer lab because the communication is one of the aspects for the students which has to be developed because they have to ultimately pass from this institution and communicate 
what they will learn in this institution to the general public or the community wherever they will be serving to the India. And we have got also the language lab, lab to develop this communication skills. Our curriculum and the course studies are very strong in nature because we go for the neat analysis of the students from the different angle of the society so that students' needs are satisfied, the academic organizations are satisfied, the industries, those are looking after the health and physical aspects of the Indian citizen must be satisfied so that our students who are studied in this institution must come out with some knowledge so that they contribute maximum for the development of the strength, physical development, as well as the wellness and the health of the Indian citizen. And also research organization, because research is one of the aspects which not only helps to develop and improve the course curriculum from today's to tomorrow, depending upon the social changes and the needs, changes of the needs of the students for the near future. So that's why we go with a very strong need analysis program. And based on that, what we do it, we finalize the program of physical education for the different section or different classes. And then these courses or this curriculum is presented in the Board of Studies. And when it's passed in the Board of Studies, Again, it goes to the academic council for, for council, academic council for permission for the application in the education process. Except this curriculum and the course of studies, which is the brainchild of the our prime minister, is development of the skill of the students so that when they go to the different parts of the country, they can enrich with this skill and contribute to the nation and the people in the different parts of the country. That's why we have started different certificate courses in the skill development program, like development or courses for the lifeguard, course for the people with the different abilities. We develop a course for the fitness management and PC card, that is physical education card, whereby school small children they learn to educate themselves through involvement in their physical activities and physical movements. Then we develop the courses or organize or impart the knowledge of the force massage because this is one of the aspects where when a person as a sportsman has to involve in the sports competition and then you have to go back to the competition again after two to three hours, then they need a very strong course massage, massage so that they should be relaxed again and well equipped and be relaxed and go back to the competition arena for their next competition. One of the basic aspects is what we have developed is downsman preparation because downsman are from class four category and they are not educated. So thereby, there is a scientific method whereby you have to develop the grounds for the different institution or the organization wherever the students is studying. So thereby, we have developed a program for the groundsmen so that they should, that knowledge must be increased and they should be well equipped with development of the standard sports field and the standard sports ground so that those grounds are utilized for the development of the blue sports We have got the life-saving courses, officiating of different games and sports, course for the people with the special abilities, and because injury management courses were one of the significant courses in our institution, because when the students or the sports person involved into the various movements in the sports or competition, they're bound to get the injury, and it is how quickly with these sports can come back with the sports area and get the battles that depends upon how we stimulated and brought back to the sports arena. We have a smart wellness in the fitness management program, and this is another aspect in the sports psychologist. We develop a courses, licensed courses for the sports psychologist, because today 
psychological barrier has to be crossed when if a sportsman has to get a medal into the international competition because when they involve the dynamic competitive pattern they are in gross with the different basic travel of the psychological travel that is fear and that other complexities so a psychologist is a must so that the health the sports person a sports person in the different categories so that they overcome these barriers and get the get back to the relaxed mood in the competition area and the, get the medal for the country and for the institution every institution needs to be evaluate its academic administrative and environmental areas and our institution has got a very good and strong audit mechanism in this regard we have got the academic audit we have got the administrative audit and we have got the environmental audit effectiveness and efficiency of a institution in its procedure policy in its principles in its application of the knowledge into the administrative process we need to understand that how they have been implemented how they have been developed and how we got the performance in the near future and that's why a very strong academic audit has been developed very strong administrative audit has also been developed and to develop to provide a very conducive environment in this organization that we have developed environmental audit or we have gone for the environment, environmental audit every year in this institution and that's why what we do it we develop or we constitute a committee internally with a senior professionals or senior professors and go through the all the policies and procedures of academics in academics what we adopt in our different departments and in the administrative areas and in the environment areas and the report submitted to the vice chancellor and the vice chancellor on in turn send it to the all the heads of the departments and the administrative head for taking action to into it so that further development of the institution can be done in a better way if we have to develop horizontally and vertically up then we need we must have a very feedback good feedback mechanism and this institution have a very strong feedback mechanism because the alumni has been feedback from the alumni feedback from the students feedback from the parents and feedback from the sports federation academic organization and industries and other stakeholders are gathered are received or then reviewed and then those suggestion again implemented in our academic and administrative program so that we could serve this organization as well as serve to this nation and the various people of this nation in a very effective and efficient way students need has to be satisfied because we are for the students the students those who come to this institution is our main aim because their development is our prime intention and that's why a dean of student welfare is there to look after the every aspects of the students problem and students development we have got the proctorial board we have got the sports directorate so that each student are involved in the sports must have the opportunity to represent this institute then to this country in the near future for the international competition national international competitions you'll be happy to know that in the rd parrot regularly our students are participating and we encourage our students to take part in nss and ncc and selected for the different camps of in this organization and then selected for the rd parrots and we are very proud when our boys and girls are adopted into the contingent and they march do the march past in front of the nation when in the rd parrot we have got a development program for the scst cell scst students and that's why we have developed a 
SCST cell, which looked after all the aspects in regarding to education as well as their development and their, their comfortability in this institution. The students are trained before they are approaching for the placement in the outside organization. That every qualities are developed so that when they are interviewed and they go to the different organization, education organization and other organization to serving to the nation, they are well equipped and they are well adopted and in this organization wherever they go. We have got the opportunity of given to the students and that's why we have developed the sexual harassment cell and driven cell so that they submit their resentment so that their resentment are taken care of and satisfied. We have a very strong extension services and these extension services provide various program for the other professional, those are come from the other institution to the greater Gwalior and for the nation itself. We have got the very exceptional student cultural club where the students are encouraged, motivated to take part in the various cultural program organized in this institution. That's how the various aspects of the personality are developed within the students different from the other educational program. Then you have got the Students Society where programs are organized so the students are given opportunity to speak to the whole institution and they develop the communication skill through participating in presenting the papers, in presenting the different programs wherever it is organized in the institution. That's how we really take care of the student so that all around development of the students takes place in this institution. This institution has got very good internal evaluation system. And as far the education program is concerned that continuous assessment program is always on and organized through projects, presentation, assignment, case studies, and class tests, whether it is extempor, whether it is organized, and provide the opportunity to write dissertation and to make models of the different games and sports and other research areas. We have got the in-house internship program where the students are taught to learn the inter relationship, how they can develop and they can achieve in this program. We organize the leadership training camp to develop the personal traits of the students every year in the Pashmari, the midst of the jungle. And we stay there for 10 days in a tent and develop all the qualities which is required for the students of this institution so that the leadership qualities are developed. We have got field-based learning so that whatever theoretical aspect knowledge they got it, they get it experimented into the field and then this ex experience knowledge are gathered by the students which will be implemented in the life areas wherever they go in the near future. Students are sent to the various industry to have a very good relationship and have a knowledge how the industry works and how the interrelationship can be developed with industry and with the students. Next. Next. This institution organize a teaching, learning, and evaluation program, and to have a very positive, conducive teaching, learning, condition, and environment. And we evaluate this environment every year by various evaluation process, and thereby the basic aspects what we do it is this 
is fully online admission process are implemented in this institution. Integrated software solution have been implemented for the development of the students to take the classes or to take the test of the students. And then we organize the online classes and that is more pronounced in this time when the COVID-19 pandemic has been has come up and we have organized the online classes from the February last onwards and all the students have been given the notes through this LMS and they have been asked and they have been clear all the problems and the questions to this process. Special examination are organized in this institution for the students who are involved in the sports arena, those who have participated in the inter-university sports, those who are in the Indian camp, and those who have represented India and involved into the international competition because they missed the examination. And this institution organized a special examination because they may be out from two months, three months, or four months. When they come back, their classes have been taken and they have been given opportunity for the special examination so that they pass the examination and move to the higher classes. The financial assistance to promote students has provided to the PhD scholar, faculty members, other. You'll be very happy to know that this is the only institution which sends the PhD scholar to the international level by funding them full fully and they present their program or they present their research papers in the various international area or seminars next these are the our teaching faculty we have got there are 72 teaching faculty out of that 12 professors 14 assistant professors 23 assistant professors and 23 contractual staff, and that's how total 72 faculty members look after the children. Is it is enforcing us or to the all universities is to have a MOU or collaboration with the, in the, an international organization. And we have got the MOU with the Seville University, United Kingdom, Seville University, Hungary, German Sports University, Cologne, Germany, Medical Institute of Globative, Bulgaria, Nippon Sports University, Japan, Fukuba University, Japan, University of Qatar, and Kazakh Academy of Sports and Tourism, Kazakhstan. We have got the MOU with a national university like Sunning Gujarat Sports University, Gujarat, AS Jaisa University, Bangalore, and Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management, Gwalior, where we have in the process of doing the research of developing the sports wear so that friction can be reduced considerably for the sportsman when they involve in the different sports competition and in different area of sports. We have got the MOU with the Assam John Bosco University, with the Georgia University Gwalior, and Pool Research Association, Ministry of Textile, and Government of India. Mahatma Gandhi University Chitragut, Ramadan Vishwavidyalaya, which looks after the village and, and village area of various parts of the in the state and all India Football Federation and we are yet to have MOU with the Hockey Volleyball Federation of India and other Federation of India in the near future. We have got the faculty publication, award and conferences in the last five years. We have got the research publication of 176 number, Google Scholar Citation 1.02, awards and recognition 8, books published 55, Conferences, seminars, webinar, workshop attended 82, conferences, seminars, webinars, workshop organized 41. We have presented 
the projects in the UGC and House Ministry 16 and JRF and NET qualified students are 207 in last five years. We have got the national international membership 12. It is said that institution can only flourish and have their establishment when it looks after the surrounding area or the area which it has to grow and develop. And that's how our major contribution is we could contribute the development of the Gwalior people, those who are around us and the different communities, those who are around us. And we have different programs so that the children in the different categories, the old or senior citizens, the different categories can be developed. That's how we have developed the youth development program, health and fitness awareness for them. We have got the community services. We have got the summer camps where about 5,000 children comes every year in the summer. And same thing along with this, there are about 3,000 Parents are also get into this campus. What we organize, there are 24 games have been organized. We have got the fitness centers. We organize for them aerobics, fitness program, and as well as yoga program for the children, as well as the parents, those who enter in the institution during the summer. They are about 45 days. We have got the sports nurseries. There are 15 games and sports, thereby we develop the sports person in those games and sports. Thereby we develop the children as well as we develop the sports performance of the various schools. When these children go to the various schools and participate, they learn, bring the performance oriented result to that school as well as name and fame of this institution by developing as a good player in the near future. We have program for the environmental consciousness Senior citizens are encouraged, and we have got the water clubs for the senior citizens. They have been given different programs so that fitness of the senior citizens are taken care of. The medical test has been organized periodically for them so that we can just give them or review their health and giving them the information, the status of the health, what they have got when they are involved into the worker class, in work, workers club in this institution. We take different schools in the Greater Gwalior, especially blind school, that's Atmajati school for the girls. We also look after the children in the juvenile centers, whereby our staff and students go there, organize different physical activities and yoga classes so that we can change the negative attitude to the positive sides so that they can be converted to a very good citizen in India near future. We help, also help the schools and the villages in the nearby or remote areas of Gwalior and we keep on considering them and involving them and organize camps whereby health and hygiene and distribute the sports equipment to them so that the health and hygiene can be developed and they can be a very good environment can be created for them. We also adapted villages at Gwalior region under Swachh Bharat Avian. These are the various gameplay, uh, various photos which we have organized the various cycle races, training, and the various workshop for the students as well as the public of India. This is the area where we organized a candle march in the name of Marani Jansi, because we start from this institution, Candle March, to the Samadhi of Lakshmi Samadhi, and then we can organize a workshop there and come back to this institution. The major contribution at the national level, we organize Bharatiya program, which have invented, we have developed, and first we have developed and organized in 1987 at National Games Tremendum. Then it has been organized 
89 at Nehru Stadium, Delhi. And so that must be program we are organizing about the different schools so that our students are trained and when they go back to the different school and colleges, they can solve organize this mass display program to the different parts of the country. Institute caters students for all parts of the country and is called Mini India. Various parts of the country, the students comes in, develop themselves. Service to the, all the other organization in this country. We have got the fitness and program, and we have got very extraordinary national physical fitness program, which we have developed in this institution where we don't need any equipment and can be organized from the remote areas of this country to the urban areas of this country. Under these tests, and they understand the status of physical fitness for themselves. We look after the swimmers, our parallel athletes. They are trained in our swimming pool. And these para athletes have really brought knowledge to this country because they have won different medals in this international competition. We develop the human resource. And we spread the awareness about the physical education and sports at national level, scientific support to the national and international players of the different games and sports, and develop, produce national and international sports personalities from time to time. These are the national awardees. This institution has produced the national leaders, and PM Joseph is one of the person who has established this institution in 1957 and awarded Padmasri. We have got the students, PA Vidya of PM Joseph, who has contributed a lot to the physical education and again awarded Padmasri in 2012 we have got the person or leaders those who have get those who have received the dhanacharya awards namely sri guru charan singh in cricket professor karan singh in athletes who has contributed a lot in the cricket as well as in the athlete and development of the various athletes and these athletes got the old are got the Ujjid award they are Ajmer singh in athletic 1966 Vijay Singh in Athletes 1972 and his Kalpana Devda in gymnastics in 2000. We have received the Brigadier Love Singh, the students of this institution, has received Ganchan Award from our beloved president, Abdul Kalam, and honored this institution. We are honored and they are also honored by the, by the national organization in this regard. We have got the modern various leaders who are the vice chancellor of the different sports university universities. They are Dr. A. Murthy, vice chancellor of Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University, Chennai. Dr. Lakshman Singh Ranabad, vice chancellor of Rajasthan Sports University, Junjunu. Dr. Jatin Soni, vice chancellor of SGSU, Gandhinagar, Gujarat, and Professor Dilip Kumar Duraya, Vice Chancellor of LNIP Gwalior. We have got extension services and we provide services to the various professionals in this country in different category, that is in the higher education, school education, and other organization. We organized refresher course, orientation course, and short-term course training courses for the higher education. We also provide these courses for the Kendra Vidyalaya Samiti, Namada Vidyalaya Samiti, Jumma Skandit Physical Education Teachers, Tribal Welfare Department of Madhya Pradesh, Leh and Ladakh Physical Education Teacher. We also train Central Reserve Police Force, CRPF, SPG, PSF, ITBP, and others.
you will be happy to know that this institution observe vehicle free witness day to reduce the carbon footprint where only cycles are allowed within the institute campus so that we can reduce carbon footprint and clear the environment and get the pure environment and no vehicle are allowed within the institute premises we have contributed the lnlip with its other institute at guwahati supported prime minister's vision the fit india movement and our staff and students involved in this movement and contributed a lot in spreading this fit india movement and educate the different personnel and other citizen in india in its various capacities we have got the various infrastructure which has been given here that is ac conference hall 7 synthetic track 400 meters sindia track 1 multi purpose hall 1 hockey artificial turf 1 hockey natural grass 1 gymnasium 2 basketball courts 5 volleyball court 6 tennis court 4 separate gymnasium for other and every games halls we have got table tennis judo wrestling gymnastics weight lifting and yoga we have got a shooting range adventure park an artificial climbing wall we have got seven hostels boys hostels we have got four girls hostel and one international sports hostel that is where the international sports person they stay there during the camps and the international students those who comes to study here from the different countries are also stay accommodated in this international students hostel this is our academic block and the administrative block and the library this institution have the various facilities as guest house fitness center in yoga weight training hall you have the auditorium and boys hostels this is our glimpses of astrotraff our synthetic hockey field synthetic track and the basketball courts that we have got very beautiful two swimming pool one is 25 meters indoor and one is 50 meters outdoor facility we have got the very good the synthetic floor indoor halls and a very good synthetic and standard table tennis hall this institution has one of the best library facility as far as sports and games concern in this country and we have got there are about 66566 books we have 2501 thesis the donated books books are 1936 and we received journals and periodicals 374 we have got online access of public catalog all facilities are available through appropriate tools like opec libosop and dbms electronic resource management package for e journals also established ugc infonet also established in this online reservation of books internet and email services and cd rom research searches are also included who we have got or could for the research person and the publication we have got a very good and strong library website a link of library has been provided with the institute website and online services is made possible so that our students and the students from the different parts of the country of the different sports institution physical education institution can take that advantage of this website and take that advantage and get the knowledge from our library facility we have got the achievement in sports for the 19 and 20 mr ajit singh who participated in the world para athletic grand prix beijing china and won the gold medal he also participated in world para athletic championship dubai and received the bronze medal and selected for TOP skin miss nima doma vutia participated in the fiba pre olympic qualifiers championship malaysia 
Indian bus as an Indian basketball team. These are the we have got received. We, our students participate in the intern university competition, and this year we have received two gold, five silver, and one bronze. We also wish you an intern university industry level the four gold and two silver has been received. We have conducted senior national hockey tournament for the session 18 and 19 as a venue partner, conducted camps for under 21 Indian volleyball main team 2018 and 19, conducted camps for senior football women Indian team 2018 and 19, all in the university team for hockey and basketball for all India. And they have won the all India winners for the basketball competition. All in the Indian University tournament, 1920, we organized hockey. You'll be surprised to know that we have got very good teams of our different sports and games, and they give or bring the laurels to this institution. These are the very unique personalities we have received gold medals and the bronze medals, and they have participated in the Indian University competition. We really happy to note that the two girls, those are took part in the RD Parade, and we are very proud to see them into the into the RD Parade when they participated and marched into the roads in front of the Prime Minister and other guests. Yes, we have got a very good students mentoring system. We have the mentoring and mentee system. We have the counseling system. We are organizing clinics and workshops for the students. Remedial coaching also developed or organized for the tail enders. We also organize the excursion and the fields. We allow the students to visit various facilities of the various parts of the countries. They must get the knowledge about how these facilities are developed and maintained. And we also encourage our students to develop the research project and submit to the institution or to the UGC or to the, any other organization where we then can receive this project and do the research. The students are also given assignment in the different areas of the studies so that their knowledge are enriched and developed and the feedback can be given by the teachers to the students. We have got a very strong placement cell and the placement cell also organized various training for the students, develop their personality, develop their communication skills so that they could enter and face the interview board. And that's how they organized the training and organized the various interview for the students from the various the organization, the various parts of the country comes to this institution and take the organized interview for our students. And I believe that the institution has a record of 100% placement and no student is still in planning zero pattern or zero position whereby they are not in a job. All students are in a job and they're contributing and serving the nation in their various categories. Financial assistance has been given and scholarship has been given to the students. We have provided a sports scholarship, scholarship for the students from economically weaker section, meritorious student scholarship, were raised 5% to each course, scholarship for NATE and qualified students, scholarship for SCST students have been given, remuneration for coaching and officiating assignment have been given to the students, medical assistance and insurance has been already given to the student so that anything happens, they are each students of the institution are insured and they get the facility of the incidents. DA of the students are enhanced for inter-university competition. So they go to the different parts of competition to participate in inter-university competition with a very comfortable way. Our employees have also given the medical facilities. Periodical medical checkup has been organized by this institution for them. Medical insurance are arranged for them. Employee quota in admission raised to the 3% to 5% in the courses. EPF and gratuity 
has been given to them institution facilities on concession concessional rate has been given to them them and a community center has been developed for the staff of this institution so that they get benefit from these community centers by organizing various function for their families admission to the wards in the kvs has been arranged in such a way because our staff get the admission to the kvs so that the staff are happy that they need not to bother about the education of their child we are the governing bodies we are under ministry of youth affairs and sports government of india we have got the board of management we have got the finance committee board of studies academic council and moreover we have got the iqsc cell which look after the quality of this institution the officials of this institution are guided by our professor vice chancellor professor dilip maduraiya we have got the finance officer registrar controller of examination and other deputy registrar and assistant registrar we have got very strong internal quality assurance cell which look after the institute system whereby the quality control and quality assurance can be established and development of this institution can be done by monitoring all academic process and programs quality of academic delivery teaching learning process evaluation process and examination quality of research and consultancy extensive activities collaboration with the national international partners of training and student section program faculty section program research and resource sharing we have got a very strong examination center which has been guided to this institution because the results are out within 30 days and the special examination which i told before are organized for the students those who are involved in the participation of the post competition in different parts of the country and different parts of the world we have got very good community engagement program students are involved in the various activities of social services students of ncc and nss goes to the various parts of the greater gwalior and the surrounding villages and service in respect to the health consciousness and other areas of the health of the senior citizen ladies and the junior students or the children of this village these are the green pages of the camps where the values and vocational education has been given we organize the kargil vijay divas this is the green page that our leaders of the army have been requested to come and deliver the lecture to the students in this organization in this institution and this is a glimpse of honoring such leaders those who are in the kargil war and motivating our students into this institution we organize international yoga day whereby near about more than 10000 people all around gwalior and the school children come and we organized and deliver renewable energy sources and green initiatives which have been taken by the institution and the summer coaching camps for the local public which is organized every year in the summer we have got the very good waste management system where the solid waste management system has been arranged liquid water management has been taken care of so that waste water can be reused in the garden as well as the grounds so that wastes of the water should not be there in our institution this is the biocompost meeting uh, machine which gives near about 1 quintal of garbage to the 10 kilo of the reduced to the 10 kilo and this 10 kilo of the manure has been used in the grounds and the various parks 
which has been developed within our organizational institution. This is the solar system. The solar heating water system has been developed and placed in the institution. There are about approximately the solar system produces 5,000 kV electricity is generated and given back to the grid of the MP state electricity board. And that's how we can save there are about 14 lakhs of rupees every month from resources and our resources has been generated with this process. Empowering education and moral and ethical values is the one of the aspects because we believe in man-making education system. These are the glimpses where the work taking ceremony or initiative ceremony we organize every year for the outgoing students, where the candles are given to the students and give the candles in front of them. They took the oath whereby they will be contributed to the nation, to the various organizations when they go out from this institution. These are the empowering education and moral and ethical values. The institution promotes strong moral and ethical values, which is transferred from one generation to another generation, reorganized to do this. The Teachers' Day, the Foundation Day, National Sports Day, cultural events, literary society, youth camps for the students. We organized Balidan Divas for the Rani Lakshmi We organized Precious Day, Resilience Week, Chacha Bharat Aviyan, and Hindi Pakhwara so that knowledge of Hindi can be generated and be developed to the students, those who are from the state of the other state where the non-Hindi state area. And we have got the convocation, very good convocation ceremony, which is the game page, you can see, where the, it has been developed, organized in the Indian national theater or Indian mm -hmm. national way. This is a glimpse which you organize for the staff, class four, class three, and the faculty in the our foundation day. This is a glimpse of the March past, which has been organized in the intramural competition, and the mass display, which is organized in the intramural competition and other competition where the sports schools or the schools from the different area, there are 14 schools are called and a competition organized in this regard the mass display and prizes have been given to them so that promotion of the mass display are there by this organization and institute to the other institute early morning and late evening classes this is the unique university where you find that all the faculty members and the students, there were 1200 persons with the vice chancellor and other senior professors are on the ground in the early morning, six o'clock in the ground. And they involve the different kinds of physical activities and the yoga activities for the development of the health and mental, social, emotional, or other aspects of the personality in this institution. This is the service to the nation. The students are invited to build character with the qualities of community and services. We organize blood donation camp because we are going to have very healthy students and their blood is really a boon to the patient, which will be given to them for the development of their health. And we also involve in the food reliefs and other areas so that we can give the contribute to the nation in other ways. Thank you very much. Now I request our Vice Chancellor Dilip Duraya to com complete the presentation. Hi, once again, I convey my hello to everyone. I am thankful to Professor Mukherjee, Dean Academics, who very efficiently has elaborated about the Institute and their functions how we are promoting fitness, health, and wellness of every individual student in Sydney. 
now from last six more than six months we are facing a pandemic of covid 19 in this my students have taken very strong steps you won't believe we have closed our main gate was we are surrounded by a boundary wall and we have four two main gates and and we are in the area of 153 acres so our residential area there are students were there so everybody was sent home safely and those who are there we are taking care of especially the foreign students and all we are taking care of them and we did with the help of a drdo we got sanitizers masks and then what we have done we what at the entry the gate it was not allowed to go out it was not allowed to come inside unless otherwise you were sanitized and especially in the emergency only you are allowed to go out so we took care of it and my institute has contributed not only uh, the our uh, employees and students but also uh, the shramik who are coming from different part of the country and they are passing through the express highway we have provided them water bottles Fruits, dry rations, the sabtu, etc. We have provided the sleepers. So their parents were chale padve the. So they had to chappal karna, they had to first aid karna, they had to food provide karna, they had to chocolates, biscuits. Ye dena jisse ki wo bhuke na rahe, surakshit rahe, aur shakushal apne ghar pahunch sake. Humne iske andar hamare team ne kam kiya aur humne shuru se yahan pe yehi nahi hamare jo policemen, jo MP police ke log hamare ग्रेटर ग्वालियर में चारों तरफ हर जगह काम कर रहे थे उनको भी हमने समय समय पर मास्क भेजे लंच पैकेट्स प्रोवाइड कराए जिससे कि उन्होंने ज्यादा अच्छा करके अपने जितने भी श्रमिक थे और रिक्वायरमेंट था जिनका उनको बहुत मदद की वी हैव प्लेड होली विद नमस्ते होली विद वेरी इन वेरी डिसेंट वे एंड वी हैव गिवन मेडिसिन होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन आल्सो आवर कोर्सेज वर कंप्लीटेड बाय आवर स्टाफ थ्रू ई क्लासेस and the study material were provided to them and the main part was that we were regularly monitoring and checking our employees those who are coming from outside to do this thing in this uh, online we have organized so many webinars and in that we got a very good response throughout the india because we have organized three days national webinar on sports management international webinar on impact on covid-19 on physical education sports international webinar on impact of covid-19 sports management and business uh, celebrated international yoga day and followed the yoga protocol issued by government of india yoga at home and yoga with the family was attended with all residents of the institute and international webinar on yoga collective growth through collective consciousness and you know the best part was in every webinar more than 230 in another one 8174 uh, were attended and to, uh, from dubai uh, it was the international congress so 25 different country participants were there and it was viewed by more than 135 uh, 1 lakh 35000 uh, people uh, on uh, on through facebook and this is was uh, ever then international yoga day were also viewed by more than 2600 people were and actively participated on the webinar on yoga collective growth and yoga 268 participants and viewed by 1900 through facebook this online classes were organized by our teachers and we have organized yoga competition for the various age group including special ability children and in june and in that one 11 participants were there quiz competition in yoga we were organized e quiz competition for physical education awareness certificate course in Sports leadership and pedagogy were conducted in 2051, and 200 coaches have participated from different six countries. This is International Yoga Day. How we have organized, and this is the uh, some of our glimpse of the experts who have participated and give, uh, given their lecture online to international webinar on the theme of impact of COVID-19 on physical education sports, as well as impact of COVID-19 on sports management and business. we have done so many meetings we have now never the stop our student we did our board of management meeting like executive council and we did finance committee meeting we have done research development committee meeting we have done the departmental research committee meeting to decide the 
their topics and uh, six monthly reports were accepted to online system and more than eight phd viva also were organized uh, by conducted by our external through external effort who are online and internet experts and other members of the uh, me i had done a sida sambhad with the students and i am very happy to say that when i did on the sports management uh, stress management because i came to know that because of covid 19 Uh, our students are well stressed. So when I went on the Sida Sambad, eh, more than thirty-five thousand students have viewed and interacted and sent their questions. And to reduce their uh, because being a psychologist, I did talk with them and uh, cleared their queries, cleared cleared their anxiety level, and we have assured them that their career will not be hampered if we are taking care of them. they will be 100% properly placed if they want they can go ahead for the further studies they can uh, attend the interviews and they can come for the admission if their result uh, result is not declared no we will allow them as appear to stay and even we have uh, done with the new education policy and the cope of uh, with the how to cope with the covid 19 at the last we can say that it is all how we done as health and wellness program in school this is all depends on four factors you must have a good fitness program wellness program as well as good services health services as services to the students social services and you must have a good nutrition food this is awareness the student uh, get their sweet and, and with uh, cardio sports and games and they set goals they track progress and see real because of their fitness they are involved in providing services when they go for their community they are providing a good community a service uh, in by providing free services they are not charging they are providing and raising awareness of social issues and health consciousness and how to make them themselves fit wellness also students also focus on the connection of mind and body with sport graduate circles guest speakers journals and other reflection and naturally nutrition is the best part that we have taught our students not to go for junk foods and avoid junk foods have nutritional diets and what whenever they are going they are not only following themselves but they are going and they are teaching others also to have healthy eating habits get recipient and shopping tips how to track the eat and what to hand how how they have uh, keep the stands how they uh, clean their hands and whatever uh, basic precaution they can take and that's why the best part is in the end i can say only one thing which is quoted by abdul kalam ji and we have this has been होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट अपना आप करें अपनी वैल्यूज को स्ट्रॉन्ग करें पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग रखें जीत हार के जीतना सीखें किसी से एनिमी नहीं रखें और सारी कम्युनिटी को बहुत अच्छा सिटीजन डेवलप करने की कोशिश करें अपने जूनियर्स को डेवलप करने की कोशिश करें अच्छे से अच्छी एथिकल वैल्यूज दें और उनके स्वास्थ्य का हेल्थ का उनके वेलनेस का बुजुर्गों की ध्यान रखें जिससे कि जो हमारा स्ट्रॉन्ग आप कहते हैं ना मोर देन सिक्सटी हमारी कंट्री जो है उसके अंदर मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट आई यूथ तो अगर हमारा इतना अच्छा यूथ है और वो फिट रहेगा हेल्दी रहेगा तो हमारा आने वाला जो साल है उसका फिट सिटीजन होगा जो हमारी कंट्री के आगे बढ़ने के लिए बहुत जरूरी है लास्ट में हमारा फ्यूचर रोड मैप है एल एन सी पी मस्ट बी एमिंग टू बिकम ए फुल फ्लैश हेल्थ वेलनेस एंड स्पोर्ट्स टू स्टेब्लिश ऑफ कैंपस एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी वन इन Uh, Guwahati, we are covering northeast, so we want to cover the other tribal areas and other remote areas of Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand, Jharkhand, and Jammu and Kashmir. We are uh, establishing, planning to establish an innovative incubation center, and this is uh, off-campus is already been approved from principal by the ministry. 
and we have to provide impetus on extension and outreach activities for further enhancing interference with the institute and the society so we can have a good citizen and we can whatever feedback we get and how the our uh, support can be enhanced that on that we are having a future plan we are uh, going to establish a high performance center so can we it can be helpful for the high performance group of the players strengthening our cbcs system uh, we are establishing a sports school where from class uh, junior class onwards our students will be admitted and they can come for their interest is here so they can be a future administrator teachers players health workers uh, whatever they want to do and to contribute and provide sciences and health research support to enhance the sports performance in india in sports because we are as we are sending, uh, creating a high performance high tech labs we already got a very good lab for more at top of the international uh, approaches we have to have that type of labs and research facility so our performance can be enhanced in the last establishing of center of excellence as we got a excellent facilities and government already approved this thing and so we are going to have very soon athletic gymnastics and swimming the class i once again thank professor s sharma director sham sundar ji and the whole nec team for giving us this opportunity to deliver what we are doing and especially what we have done what are our best practices what we have done for the society what we are doing for our students to keep this our rank high in future also thank you jai hind i pray everybody must stay home stay safe thank you jai hind dhanyawad uh, dilip sahab bahut acha bahut hi acha uh, you have so many achievements in your institution it's really appreciative appreciable basically what i have found the different in your institution is 100% placement that is a commendable concept and you said that you have a mini india yes that uh, we have also visualized it once when we visited uh, once upon a time in your institution so you have managed it very nicely you have a research laboratory is uh, so many uh, i think so eight to nine but in various areas specifically in physical education that is also commendable then you go with the need based curriculum because being a university uh, you are moving you cannot hear hello can you hear or not yes sir audible yes, audible audible then no, no. acha because your vc is there says that it is not audible so by action so i was saying anyway now uh, so many plus plus things are there which i felt and very interesting part is you have lots of things in related to the institutional values and best practices in our criteria 7 what we focus on uh, and we always say that wo to institution ko asti hui nahi hai jo samaj ke liye kuch na kar raha ho aur aap samaj ke liye bahut kuch kar rahe ho dikh raha hai that uh, in the pandemic situation also you have come out uh, out of way you have helped uh, migrant uh, people migrant workers and many others likewise that you have shown in your uh, sites in the photos and all that then sustainable developments related you are working solar panel green practices so many things are there i have i to have a question i have a question but uh, let us see the questions from the participant then i will ask a very interesting question to you because you are doing a marvelous job sir so i request dr samuel ji uh, please see if any participant is raising the hand then we can proceed with the question answer session a couple of people have raised their hand if any if any institution or any person has to ask a question you may raise your hands using which we will be able to unmute you and you can raise your question so i'll just unmute yadav harikesh yadav harikesh you may ask a question yadav harikesh we go to the next person prabonti mondal prabonti mondal जर्नी फ्रॉम 
then 1973 national status, then autonomous college. Now, vice chancellors have wants deemed to be university to develop into a university. You know, uh, if a new education policy would have come earlier, then your institution would have directly developed into a university. Now you are having very bright chances of developing into a new university because <laughs> according to the NEP, uh, 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 there is no concept of deemed directly autonomous college can develop in, into a university. Now you have lot many achievements and your field this having health and wellness through physical education. We find it very, very fit, especially during these pandemic times. Now you have so many achievements, but uh, I don't want to waste much time. Uh, let me uh, come to my question. Uh, there are two, three points I want to make clear, sir. Number one is that uh, when the students go for participation at higher level they attend the camps for many many days and they cannot uh, uh, they cannot study for long duration for months together sometimes because i have been a principal even in simple college the sports students they lose a lot of uh, time uh, when they cannot study so th for those students what type of efforts are being made to made up for their studies and another point is sir uh, what is this physical education card program and the, my third uh, point is how do your practical board works and what is the outcome of working of that practical board and i congratulate you that you have gone so ahead in the field of wellness and not only the institution but your ex uh, these extension activities or outreach activities uh, not only at the regional level but at the state level national level and also you are helping at the international level so congratulations for that i want to clear these two three small small points thank you sir okay madam can you hear me yes sir yeah okay we have main two question here first if yeah. the person uh, students are involved in the sports and they yes. lose classes for one to two months yeah madam we conduct the catch-up classes for them separately okay. this is not only for the players who are playing at different level especially for national international level being laurels but for the students who are involved in nss and ncc and they are going and participating and they are away for three to two, two to three months and they are going to on the uh, rajpath for having an intern uh, that parade uh, in the on 26th uh, so is all this have we what we do we uh, especially conduct special catch-up classes for them and we especially conduct a special exam for them separately okay. so their right. career must not be hampered because on right. one side they are bringing laurels for the institutes and yes and so how can we ask them you are not promoted so we give them yeah. chance not only yeah. directly you appear but they we conduct coaching classes as a special catch-up classes and on right. the basis of that we evaluate them and then we take their special second thing regarding a question regarding the proctoral board we have a hundred percent proctoral board we have a even a chief proctor proctor system and we have a different wardens and the chief wardens. We have right. seen some mixed group are there. Senior professor right. is leading uh, the, as a chief proctor and uh, our uh, other uh, young staff who is associate mm -hmm. assistant professor, they, are, they take mm -hmm. rounds. And the right. best part in my institute is from since morning six o'clock mm -hmm. till evening right. seven o'clock, we are on the ground or in the classroom together. So we have a very good in relationship, social relationship like father and his son or a daughter uh, this type of relationship we are having and uh, that's why we are, it is very easy for us to make them counsel what to think what thing are right what thing not but i know there are some one the, the, everything is not correct sometimes some yeah. student want to take a misuse this thing and want to take a misappropriate the appropriate action is being taken whenever it is being caught and we take around every without telling a student the proctor board goes around and there's no fight between the students that is the best part 
but the only thing is they sometimes uh, do uh, they call uh, uh, coming late they are jumping the boundary wall and going out for the tea and all so what we have done we have open a uh, over, up to 12 o'clock we have open a canteen near the hostel so if you want to have some man if you are hungry in the evening uh, because they are players uh, mass timing is up to 8 o'clock so they want to eat yeah. something they can have in the day so we go okay. around them anybody found an unethical situation we punish them we send them back to their home we if uh, it is a uh, if their parents come they are given writing and they are, they are sure and they when they give in writing the uh, that they will not repeat then only we allow otherwise it, it, the person is sent as per the rules it can be for one month it can be for a year it can be for three years depending on the what type of uh, crime he has made or whatever a mischievous ness he has done that thing we do and we have very efficient vigilance system right right because yeah. uh, pep card is a uh, professor guru will be explaining you yeah. okay. hello hello uh, yeah. madam this uh, physical education card is a idea uh, to provide yeah. the ready made uh, information to the teachers as well as the so suppose okay. class one to one to four, if we want to prepare the card, means a simple card in having all the informations, what to be done, what precautions to be taken, how much repetitions to be done. So suppose okay. the card is based upon body awareness movement or maybe space awareness, maybe locomotor, maybe non-locomotor, maybe manipulative skills. So okay. so such way. Uh, for juniors uh, means primary or uh, uh, early secondary classes the cards to be prepared to develop their coordinative abilities to develop uh, muscular strength to develop uh, cardiorespiratory endurance or flexibility or agility so on so such card is very helpful because the ready recogner uh, it is like a ready recogner uh, uh, in relation to uh, preparing uh, developing their coordinative abilities or maybe involving them into the manipulative skills further which is uh, helpful to opt a particular games and sports and involve them uh, involve themselves and excel right. in the sports right okay uh, okay right. thank you thank you so much i congratulate you and i am highly thankful to nac for organizing such a double plus colleges institutions webinars that very very beautiful good productive best practices are being used by the institutions thank you sir yeah, one, one line I would like to speak about it, Dr. Mahinder Kaur. All the sessions she attends, she listens very nicely and she asks the questions. That's a curiosity a person should have. Yes, after retirement also, she is very good. It's an appreciable. Kaur, madam, it's good. Yes, please uh -huh. proceed. Next person, Anay. Anay, do you have any question? Anay? Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir, thank you, the oh, team, boy. for the yeah, it was good hearing that the initiative of courses for the specially able persons, especially. Uh, I would like to know what is the overall inclusiveness of differently abled in physical education and also the employability of such people. Hello. Not, it is very ignored area. It is very ignored area. So we have decided to so what we how we started. We have uh, I came to know in my swimming pool we have a swing aid system. We are already providing facilities to the uh, the young swimmers who are regularly coming and training them some, and they are being so nicely trained that they went up to international level. So the idea came to us, and so we, what we've done. We have uh, organized different workshops uh, calling uh, that uh, experts from even from USA and from UK and they have conducted and they have trained our teachers. So we are planning to open a new department of adult physical education. That is one of the part. But on the other side, if this because uh, adult physical education is one of the subjects in our course. So those who are trained subjects and even Ashish Fulker is looking after this and so what we are doing we are training them and this type of students are having a great scope 
if they are being specialized in this area, they have great scope because recently, if you go through out the country, uh, is in this field you got very very meager expert in this, and that's why every uh, this special child uh, the teachers are required in special child uh, this type of uh, schools, uh, the young schools or uh, but the water is uh, whether the blind school or whatever there. So we are working on it, and we are already training. But now, as uh, uh, we are because we have to have all facilities with us. We are doing that thing, and in future, in coming years, one, uh, not more than maximum one or two years, not more than that. So our batch will, will come out with the, so they will get a bunch of teachers who can work and helpful for this type of society who are already being ignored. And we want to make, bring them in the mainstream of life so they can, must not be deprived of the facilities like in foreign countries. You go any conference, you see there for the, uh, he, he, the hearing impaired and the, they, they have a, uh, a special when there is a lecture is going on and the translator is already there for this type of uh, students so they can translate the things and they are also joining the event so we are trying our level bet and we have to take lead we cannot be depend on others because we are a nation suit we are a graded university so this is our moral responsibility also to work in this field and fulfill this gap also Yeah, good answer. We'll go to the next person, uh, Nickel Moore. Nickel Moore. Nickel Moore, do you have any question? Abarna Roy, Dr. Abarna Roy. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, Nat team and others, for a good session. सर मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है जो आपके इंस्टीट्यूट में हमारे यहाँ मैं झारखंड से हूँ बहुत से बच्चे बहुत ही टैलेंटेड होते हैं खेल में लेकिन उन लोग को वैसे ट्रेनिंग नहीं मिल पाता है तो आप लोग के इंस्टीट्यूट में एडमिशन के लिए क्या क्या प्रोसेस है कोई वीकर सेक्शन से और झारखंड के हैं और अभी बल्कि हमने आपकी गवर्नमेंट से ये बात की है कि हमारे यहाँ की जो डिग्री है उसको उन्होंने डिसेफलेट किया था कि साहब ये एस पर भी नॉर्म्स नहीं है एनसीपी के जब हमने सर्टिफिकेट वगैरह दिए बच्चों को आपकी सेक्रेटरी एजुकेशन से जाके बात की मैं खुद गया था पर्सनली मेरी टीम भी गई थी हमने उनको बताया आपके जो राकेश जी है शर्मा जी जो आपके चीफ सेक्रेटरी एजुकेशन है उनसे हमने बात किया झारखंड में और हमने बताया कि ये बच्चों को भेजिए और अभी तो हमारी आपकी गवर्नमेंट से चल रही है हम ऑफ कैंपस खोलने जा रहे हैं आपके रांची में जिससे कि उधर के जितने भी बच्चे होंगे उनको उसका फायदा मिल सके कितना भी गरीब बच्चा हो हम उसको वहां एडमिशन देंगे और झारखंड के बच्चे तो बहुत आउटस्टैंडिंग है स्पोर्ट्स में आप इंडिया की टीमों को देखिए उसमें है और हमारी जो ये है एस सी हमने स्कॉलरशिप दे रखी है मैडम आप देखिए इस प्रकार के बच्चे जो पुअर फैमिली से आते हैं झारखंड से या छत्तीसगढ़ से या कहीं से भी पूरे कंट्री से हम एस सी एस टी स्कॉलरशिप उनको प्रोवाइड कराते हैं हम अगर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट देती है तो उसको रिलीज करवाते हैं हमारे एलुमनीज ने एक स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर फंड बनाया है वो उन बच्चों को बुलाया है कि क्योंकि हमारे ग्रामीण क्षेत्र के बच्चे सबसे जो गरीब होते हैं लेकिन सबसे टैलेंटेड होते हैं उनको टैलेंट इंडिया का वेस्ट ना जाए हम अपने इंस्टीट्यूट से उनको जाने नहीं देते हम उनको वहीं रखते हैं उनकी फीस का इंजाम करते हैं उनकी स्कॉलरशिप स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर फंड से देख के उनको इतना अच्छा इंसान बनाते हैं इतना अच्छा टीचर बनाते हैं कि वो जब मार्केट में जाता है तो उसका प्लेसमेंट हो जाता है वो गवर्नमेंट या नॉन गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर में जाके काम करता है फिर अपनी कम्युनिटी को अपनी फैमिली को मदद करता है यही हमारा कॉन्सेप्ट है और यही और हम आपके यहाँ सेंटर तो फुल ही रहे मैडम तो आगे फ्यूचर और भी अच्छा हो सकता है फोन नंबर अगर प्रोवाइड होता है अगर बच्चा डायरेक्ट अगर कांटेक्ट कर पाता है ऐसे कुछ हो सकता है क्या मैं आपको फोन नंबर अभी दे दे रहा हूँ आपको मैं बता दू मेरा अगर आप वेबसाइट पे जाएंगी तो अभी चौदह तारीख तक मेरे यहाँ एडमिशन का मोड ओपन है हम लोग ऑनलाइन एम ऑनलाइन के थ्रू करते हैं आप वेबसाइट पे जाएंगी तो उसके अंदर आप देखेंगी एम ऑनलाइन का आ, लिंक देखेंगी तो 
पे जाएंगी तो आप उसके अंदर आपको सारी चीजें मिलेंगी और अगर आपको सोचती है कि आपके संग कोई प्रॉब्लम आ रही है तो आप इस नंबर को नोट करिए नाइन सेवन सेवन नाइन फोर नाइन सेवन सेवन नाइन फोर हाँ सेवन सिक्स सेवन सिक्स फाइव सेवन सिक्स सेवन सिक्स फाइव ये है डॉक्टर सविता गुप्ता हमारे यहाँ अस्टन रजिस्ट्रार है एकेडमिक आप इनसे कोई भी क्वारी करिए मैडम ये आईआईटी खड़कपुर से पीएचडी हैं और बहुत अच्छी हमारे एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर हैं हैं प्रोफेसर रजिस्ट्रार आप ये प्रॉब्लम को तुरंत सॉल्व करेंगे वो आपको ये नहीं बोलेंगी मेरे पास वक्त नहीं है ये मेरी गारंटी है जी सर थैंक यू बहुत दिलीप साहब ये पहली बार ऐसा देखा है नहीं तो जनरली अगर किसी ने नंबर मांगा तो बोलते हैं हमारी वेबसाइट में जाके विजिट कर लो वहाँ पे मिलेगा तो इसको बोलते हैं Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for the opportunity to interact with uh, such a prestigious institute of physical education in India. Ah, uh, basically, I belongs to a department of physical education, and whenever we try to introduce uh, any program in our institute, we try to follow the reference of uh, LNIP. But uh, when we go in terms of reference books. either it is related to any subject of physical education either it is biomechanics sport psychology physiology i think uh, lnip has a pool of experts who can work on the production of books in context of indian scenario so i want to ask that whether institute is working in this context to create or produce a specific book by the pool of their experts for the reference of all institutes who are working in field of physical education in india ji so dr vivek i know you are speaking from arunachal pradesh if i am yes sir yes great and you see this answer will give by professor pandey because we are not only working for physical education courses and we are expert in that but we are also working for different sports sciences courses also like sports psychology sports physiology एक्सरसाइजोलॉजी एंड स्पोर्ट्स बाय मैन एंड वी हैव सेंट टू स्टार्ट इन मल्टीडिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच टू एस सी सो नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट प्रोफेसर पांडे ही वांट टू नो द क्वेश्चन अगेन ही वांट टू नो द आंसर प्लीज हेलो यस सर एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर प्लीज सर ना मिस्टर वेक वी आर इनटू दिस वी हैव नाउ वी हैव सीन वी आर हैविंग वेरी गुड लैब्स आल्सो सो दैट वी आर हैविंग द Uh, re researches in indian context that's what is your main idea that yeah. what about the books in indian context so we are developing books in indian context especially in exercise physiology sports biomechanics sports uh, exercise uh, sports psychology and other things and the books are we have already you have seen we have some books 56 books are already published uh, through the experts of our institution and uh, Uh, we are developing. We are in line of the books. Uh, journals are, of course, we are publishing journals from our institution, which are uh, actually co converting these this knowledge of international knowledge of these areas into Indian context because the subjects and other things are from Indian society or Indian sports persons, Indian non-sports persons also. So we are into developing these things. And uh, for your information, we are having some researches of non-sports persons also. This is for the information. of all the panelists also that uh, we have now research is going on with the uh, aims on dna study of knee problems of uh, persons who are having knee problems with non impact and non impact injuries this that's in that we have having in, in impact injuries are very common so non impact injuries also there which is just old injuries then we are having arthritic problems so we are going for dna studies for these things and we are uh, into process of publishing all these books now रेफरेंस बुक 
for physical education at school level because when we go to the market we find lot of books of physical education but it is prepared by the individual experts it will be better if institute because if you have you have a pool of experts if institute will prepare a book that can be one as a reference book for the teachers in field of physical education in in respect to the school curriculum sir um, sir vivek we are already as you have told that references books as we am saying that reference book is not within our preview preview but we are developing these books now we have already published certain books which are there in different sports and games not in the theoretical areas but sports and games we have almost for all the sports and games we have books certain books are uh, uh, concise books which are having for all the games certain books are independent for different games uh, and uh, as you have told that uh, since the syllabus of different uh, states and different other is uh, versatile and it is not a uh, fixed syllabus only so it is it is it is become slightly difficult for us now with the new government policy where everyone has to follow certain minimum fixed syllabus now because it has come as a core subject now so i think it will be much more easier for um, making books uh, in the theoretical areas also of physical education of course in sports areas purely sports areas where we have the tactical tactical tactics and the technique part of things we have books for almost all the games sir can you hear me vivek uh, from our master pradeep vivek can you hear me hello vivek sir so you are audible sir ha ah, you are audible acha see and the, i know what you want to know professor yeah, pandey already has said now professor ghai will tell you about what type of physical fitness now we have created from yes. rat class 1 to class 12 as well as yes. the without any spending yes. money on the instrument he yes. has created a fitness factory for yes. that is from yes. to yes, and which is manageable yes. also and can be done anywhere in a small ground also so i request professor uh, guru to explain him regarding that ah uh, hello good afternoon yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. actually see while preparing a test battery and which to be utilized by a total nation population so it is a really a great task uh, every aspect to be taken care of uh, for feasibility point of view it should be uh, fit to the grassroots level or village level as well as it fit to the urban uh, cities or town so for that purpose uh, we uh, selected four components four components of physical fitness that is muscular strength and endurance then cardio respiratory endurance then flexibility and explosive strength and for all these uh, four components we selected initially we selected three test items for each component and later on we collected the data uh, around 40th on 40000 school children and then finally is landed to a four item battery uh, the item which was selected into a test battery are uh, number 1 uh, distance run and walk that is varied from 800 to 1000 meter or maybe 600 meter to 1000 meter for juniors uh, school uh, boys and girls it may be 600 and for seniors it is uh, up to 800 or 9 uh, 1000 meters and second we kept a split sit and reach test because it is easier as well as uh, a mass testing also can be done in it or maybe the partner testing can be done does not require a much equipment only a measuring scale is okay and for cardio respiratory run it is required only a stop watch and then uh, we gone for the modified push ups for muscular strength and endurance and this also to be on the raised uh, box arms will placed on the raised box so the body should be inclined and then uh, for uh, the, the students of class 9 10th and 11th so then it is a flat push ups so this way so the modifications to be done and fire so these are uh, one more uh, that is standing broad jump for explosive leg strength that was selected and all these four item does not required a 
very costly equipments. Only a stopwatch and measuring tape is enough. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, and sir. That, that was submitted, uh, I think, uh, one and a half year back to the ministry. And later on, I think some work is going on on it. Anything? No, sir. Uh, I have one request, sir. Um, we have a small department in Arunachal for this. If uh, LNIP even feel that we can contribute or collaborate, it will be a pleasure and honor for our institution. Okay, okay. So that can be done. Uh, you can talk to our no vice chancellor. No problem. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, Samuel, if there is thank any you. or no more raise hand, sir. You may okay, take so a hand. So nice. So I have two questions. Dilip sir, yes, two sir. questions. Very interesting. Number one, because you are so much devoted uh, towards the society, towards social aspects of, in addition to the physical education. The question is, uh, at present with this pandemic situation, we don't have immediate vaccine available and that you also know very well that uh, it is essential that there should be a development of immune system of an individual. So what are the efforts from your side that you are taking or will be taking to make this thing happen all over the country? I am talking about Pan India. Please. I'll tell you, thank you, Professor. I will ask you a question. Look, what is our question? For the immune system, we are not competent that we have a vaccine prepared, but we are a physical educationist. We are a physical educationist. And if we develop our immune system through fitness, so mm. that can be helpful for the society. And what we have done, we have involved our students, our staff, our talented staff. They have developed a small videos, which can mm. be carried over and can be done in a small place at the roof of the house, at the balcony of the house, even in the drawing room of the house, or if you are living in the society. And if there is a walking space, you can go there and you can do it. That it can be of the fitness program, aerobics program, and the yoga program. This type of videos, more than 60, we have already put through our Facebook and Instagram and on the website. So this is because prevention is always better than cure. And if we are take these precautions. To make them, and we are making them aware to keep distance, clean hands, and wash, wash hands. Don't use sanitizer every time. Wash hands. Keep yourself clean, and wearing mask. If you are in the uh, alone, then you don't wear mask. It is not required. You take a good breath. Go to the roof of the house, and in physical education we taught improvisation. Agar ham pe wo suvidha technically nahi hai. तो वो भी हम पे चीज है उसको हम उसको तरह यूज करें फॉर एग्जांपल सपोज करिए कि मेरा वो 5 केजी का वेट उठाना है और मेरे पास नहीं है तो मैं अपने तकियों का इस्तेमाल कर सकता हूं मेरे घर में कोई छोटा बच्चा है उसको बैठा के मैं एक्सरसाइज कर सकता हूं अपने ऊपर तो ये क्या है कि ये चीजें है फिर जैसे हमारे घर में ईटा मिल जाती है पगल में हम वहां पर वेट्स नहीं है हम ईटे के सन में जो बड़ी होती है सॉलिड ईटा होती है उसको लेके वेट कर सकते हैं हम अपनी पचत्ती पे जहां पे शेड होता है अगर वो पक्का है हम लटक के पुशअप्स वगैरह की एक्सरसाइज कर सकते हैं दिस टाइप ऑफ वीडियोस मोर देन 60 वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड मेरे स्टूडेंट्स ने इस पे बहुत काम किया चाहे वो स्विमिंग से रिलेटेड थे चाहे वो जिम्नास्टिक से रिलेटेड थे चाहे वो योगा से रिलेटेड थे चाहे वो टीम गेम से रिलेटेड थे मतलब आपको बिलीव नहीं होगा मेरे स्टूडेंट्स ने विदाउट वाटर स्विमिंग को कैसे करना है डेवलप करना है उसकी एक्सरसाइज भी अपलोड की किस तरह से हम एक रबर बैंड लेके और किस तरह से उस एक्सरसाइज को कर सकते हैं ये हमने किया है और आई होप कि ये जो प्रिवेंशन बेटर देन क्योर है ये जो तरीका हमने अपनाया है कि अगर आप स्वस्थ रहेंगे न्यूट्रिशन डाइट खाएंगे जंक फूड पे नहीं जाएंगे तो आप स्वस्थ रहेंगे और स्वस्थ रहेंगे तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपका इम्यून सिस्टम क्योंकि आप स्वेट करेंगे तो आपका इम्यून सिस्टम हाई रहेगा और आप बीमारियों से दूर रहेंगे जी बहुत बढ़िया है इसको और प्रमोट करने की जरूरत है जो आपके बच्चों ने बनाया है साठ वीडियोस और एक प्रश्न है मेरे दिमाग में और थोड़ा ट्रिकी है 
इसीलिए क्योंकि वो आप अपने आप कोप अप हुआ बिकॉज ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ अचीवमेंट फ्रॉम योर साइड देर इज नो डाउट दैट यू आर क्रिएटिंग वर्ल्ड क्लास टीचर्स इन फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड इज बींग सप्लाइड ऑल ओवर द कंट्री फॉर देर कॉलेज एंड द स्कूल बट द क्वेश्चन इज Why we are unable to get the world-class sports person from the such colleges and schools? For example, के तौर पे एक lawn tennis की बात कर लो, तो हमारे यहाँ से क्यों नहीं ऐसा होता है? जबकि बहुत सारे बच्चे चाहते हैं, they want it, they they are very much skillful, but it's not happening. So do you have anything in your plan, in your strategy to make it happen? See, what we are having, I'll tell you, because we are dealing, we are one of the part of the sports ministry also. my ministry has set up a system and they have uh, given responsible different uh, if the any athlete they found any talented person if it is outstanding they are picking him in the top school and that is top school like my one of my student he is going for the paralympic he is been selected for that and more than 50 lakhs per student has been spent they have been sent uh, abroad for the training they have been uh, uh, coming out from the different type of research uh, testing so their high performance can be maintained and can be enhanced especially if you take a reference of minds to this lnip see if you go to the record of nine from last 1957 we have olympians we have asian medalist iron man of asia vijay singh chauhan is a product vijay singh ajmer singh kusum chatwal Brigade Labs. They all are product of LNIP. ABB Prashad. They all are product of LNIP. Recently, Avinash Yadav, member of Indian volleyball team. Nishant Singh, member of Indian basketball team. Recently, Neema Doma. She is uh, uh, playing for India in the basketball. Para man that Ajit is playing. And uh, you won't believe what type of system and the cohesiveness we are having in the institute. Uh, that we. he was all right he went to attend one of the wedding of his friend ajit singh and unfortunately some happened this happening happened in the railway station and he came under the train uska ek khon kat gaya wo bilkul depressed ho gaya ki uski zindagi khatam ho gayi humne uske parents ko sabko sahara diya hum usko ghar apne campus mein rakha humne uska rehabilitation kiya aur uske department mein dala you are not a loser You are an achiever and you can do it because वो बहुत अच्छा javelin thrower है इंटर ऑल इंडिया लेवल का तो हमने कहा कि your left hand is gone don't worry you can do miracles in the international level और वो चीज सारे साथी चाहे उसका junior था चाहे उसके teachers थे चाहे उसके classmates थे उसकी mummy वगैरह उसके भैया उसकी दीदी सब ने हमको बहुत मदद की आज वो ही बच्चा दो साल के अंदर international level पे India को represent कर रहा है एक जगह वो पैरा मीट में गोल्ड लाया अभी उसने क्वालिफाइंग किया है वो जापान जाएगा पैरा ओलंपिक गेम्स में उसको गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने टॉप स्कीम में ले लिया है उसको 50 लाख का उसके ऊपर खर्चा कर रहे हैं विदेश ट्रेनिंग के लिए जाना अभी ये कोविड के चक्कर में सब थोड़ा डिस्टर्ब हो गया है लेकिन अलग से उसको पच्चीस लाख की स्पॉन्सरशिप वगैरह मिल गई है और हमारा संस्थान का हर टीचर हर एम्प्लॉय हर बच्चा तो उसके संग खड़ा फिर हमारे यहाँ पे अभी एक्सलेंस सेंटर तीन गवर्नमेंट ने खोलो कहे हैं जैस जिम्नास्टिक का और आपके एथलेटिक्स का एंड स्विमिंग का जब ये बच्चे आएंगे इनके लिए अभी उन्होंने हमको 25 करोड़ रुपया दिया है उसके लिए अलग से एक वेरी मतलब फुल्ली फर्निशर बहुत उनके बच्चों के लिए वो एक अलग से एक हॉस्टल बनाया जा रहा है उनका डाइट सिस्टम रहेगा स्पेशल कोचेज उनके लिए अपॉइंट हो रहे हैं जिसकी वजह से वो फ्यूचर में आने वाले एथलीट होंगे लेकिन आज आप प्रोजेक्ट की बात करें तो हम मेडलिस्ट हैं आप देखिए कि हर साल ऑल इंडिया लेवल पे नेशनल लेवल पे हमारे बच्चे मेडल ला रहे हैं कर रहे हैं लेकिन अगर हम डेप्थ में जाएं तो ये स्कूल इज बेसिकली क्रिएटिंग ए स्पोर्ट्स टीचर ए फिजिकल एजुकेशन टीचर लेकिन क्योंकि इसमें क्या होता है कि हमारा बच्चा आता है और हमारे इस क्षेत्र में जो बच्चा है ना वो बहुत गरीब परिवार से आता है वो अमीर परिवार से नहीं आता है वो या तो अपर मिडिल क्लास से आएगा या लोअर मिडिल क्लास से आएगा या ईडब्ल्यू होगा या बीपीएल कार्ड के नीचे होगा तो उस टैलेंट को हम निखारते हैं और उनका पहला टारगेट होता है परफॉर्मेंस से पहले तो कितनी पोर वे में निकले कि सर मैं किसी तरह अच्छा टीचर बन जाऊं तो मैं कुछ अर्निंग करूं जिससे मैं अपनी फैमिली को मदद कर लेकिन इसके बावजूद भी हम जिस प्रकार से मोटिवेट करते हैं तो हमारे ही बच्चे 
उसमें से बहुत अच्छे निकलते हैं और वो मेडलिस्ट होते हैं जो ऑनर लाते हैं अगर हम एक टोटल कैलकुलेट करके आपको दें तो हमारे पास कम से कम 25 इंडिया एथलीट्स हैं जो यहाँ से निकले हैं हमारे पास इंडियन मेडलिस्ट है मोर देन फिफ्टी ऐसा नहीं है फिर हम सिर्फ इस फील्ड में काम नहीं कर रहे हैं हम स्पोर्ट जर्नलिज्म में काम कर रहे हैं समीर राजगुरु आप देखते होंगे इज ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एल एन आई पी उसने यहाँ से ग्रेजुएशन किया यहीं से वो गया है आप देखिए आज टीवी पे आप स्पोर्ट्स चैनल खोलते हैं कमेंट्री हो चाहे वो विराट कोहली का इंटरव्यू हो या धोनी का इंटरव्यू कोई लेता दिखता है तो इंडस्ट्री अब ये शरद केलकर जो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में काम कर रहा है ही इज ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एल एन आई पी हमारा जो वो है सॉफी स्पोर्टिफाइडिफाइडिंगली अभी आपने देखा होगा कि चार साल पहले की लड़की जो हेलीकॉप्टर पायलट बनी फाइटर निधि फर्स्ट पायलट वो यही की स्टूडेंट है 2015 में पास आउट हुई एंड इसी प्रकार हमारे यहाँ बहुत से लोग हैं जो ब्रिगेडियर मेजर जनरल पल्लव बोरा कर्नल बहुत से लोग हैं जो अलग अलग पोजिशन में आर्मी में काम कर रहे हैं डिफेंस में बीएसएफ में सीआरपीएफ में यूपी पुलिस यूपी पुलिस में काम कर रहे हैं तो ये हमारे प्रोडक्ट्स हैं जो कर रहे हैं और थ्रू आउट द कंट्री कर रहे हैं तो हमारा बिल्कुल ध्यान है आपका सवाल है प्रोडक्ट आना चाहिए देखिए इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे मेडल एक ही होता है उसकी तैयारी करनी पड़ती है और तो तैयारी के लिए थोड़ा सेक्रीफाइस करना पड़ता है अगर बच्चे के दिमाग से हम ये कोशिश करते हैं कि आप अपने फैमिली को अगर साइड में जो बहुत मुश्किल है उसके लिए और फिर उसके माँ बाप ने बड़ी अपेक्षाओं के संग उसको जहाँ भेजा जो पढ़ के तैयार हो जाए तो मेरी फैमिली को मदद करेगी वो ये नहीं जानते उसका बच्चा इतना टैलेंट है कि वो अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तर पर उनका नाम करेगा तो जो लोग ये एडवेंचर में चले जाते हैं और जो ये रिस्क ले लेते हैं वो अचीवर हो जाते हैं अब ये नीमा भूटिया जो लड़की है ये सिक्किम की एक रिमोट गाँव की बच्ची है जिसने इंडिया को रिप्रेजेंट किया है आज उसके बाद तमाम ऑफर एंड जॉब के ऑटोमेट और सिक्किम गवर्नमेंट ने उसको ऑनर किया हुआ है तो ये सब चीजें हैं जो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सो नाइस आपके पास है तभी आप इतना सब बोल सकते हैं इट्स वेरी नाइस लेकिन एक बहुत अच्छी चीज है जो आप आगे करने वाले हैं दैट इज फ्यूचर रोड मैप जो आपने बताया है एक्सपांशन प्लान ये बहुत जरूरी है बिकॉज पैन इंडिया से ऐसा होना चाहिए जैसे कोई दूसरे देश के जैसे चाइना है और ऐसे देशों से जैसे क्वांटम में स्पोर्ट्स में बाहर आते हैं वुमेन्स बाहर आते हैं इसी तरह से हमारे यहाँ से भी होना चाहिए और ये आप जैसे प्रतिष्ठित इंस्टीट्यूशन की जिम्मेदारी अपने आप ही बन जाती है जी ऐसा जी वो दिख रहा है सो इट्स एन अप्रिशिएबल पार्ट सो आई आई रियली फॉर्मल वोट ऑफ थैंक्स लेकिन एक मेरे तरफ से थैंक्स दिलीप जी मुखर्जी साहब विवेक जी आशीष जी एंड गुरुदत्त जी और गिविंग ए यूनाइटेड प्रेजेंटेशन अब मुखर्जी साहब को मुखर्जी साहब इसलिए बोला है क्योंकि उनके यहाँ मुखर्जी ऑलरेडी लगा हुआ है लॉर्ड्स ऑफ एप्रिशिएशन टू ऑल यू पीपल नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट आवर डॉक्टर विनीता साहू असिस्टेंट एडवाइजर टू गिव ए फॉर्मल वोट ऑफ थैंक यस डॉक्टर विनीता प्लीज थैंक यू सर Uh, we had very good presentations today very good discussions and uh, it surely had enriched the knowledge of uh, all of us now uh, we are at the concluding stage so before i begin my vote of thanks already so many motivational and inspirational things have been shared and this will add a feather to the cap all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them so this is what suits here and uh, with this i would like to begin my vote of thanks first of all we would like to sincerely thank our honorable director sir professor s c sharma ji uh, because of his guidance and encouragement uh, we could uh, we could do this webinar and we are doing all such webinar in the best practice uh, webinar series uh, 
We are also thankful to all the NEC officials, staff, various departments who are helping us in organizing uh, these uh, best practice webinar series. A special thanks to the coordinators and the convener for today's program, uh, Dr. Uh, Devinder Kavde sir uh, and Dr. M. S. Sham Sundar sir, advisor NEC, uh, Professor H. V. Chandrasekhar sir. Uh, because because of their untiring efforts and perseverance uh, throughout uh, when we started this webinar series, so they, they are working really hard in organizing each and every webinar, and uh, their their team is making sure that each webinar should be uh, the best version of the of itself. So, a special note of thanks to uh, Dr. Kavde and uh, Dr. Ch uh, Professor Chandrasekhar sir. We are indebted to our ICT team. Uh, which is headed by Professor Ramya Kumar sir and ably supported by Mr. Samuel for providing all the technical assistance uh, for all the webinars. We are also now from the university side, we are uh, especially we are very, very thankful to the Honorable Vice Chancellor sir, Professor Dilip Kumar Dureya, who happily agreed for this particular webinar when we have spoken to him. And uh, he has given all kind of support. His team has given all kind of support in organizing today's webinar. Uh, we are also thankful uh, to the whole team of LNIP, especially to Professor uh, S. Mukherjee, Professor Vivek Pandey, Professor G. D. Gai, Dr. Ashish Kulkar, and Professor Krishnakan Sahu, uh, with whom I was communicating with, uh, with for this particular regard, for their timely support in organizing this program. Last but not the least, we are thankful to all the participants for their active participation and patient listening. And we had a very wonderful discussion and a question answer session. So with this, I would like to conclude my vote of thanks. Namaskar to all of you. Jai Hind. Thank you. Yes, so many thanks, Dr. Vinita. Uh, I really appreciate the efforts taken by Dr. Pratibha Singh and Dr. Vinita to make this thing possible. One appeal is there. Appeal is because I am seeing uh, Dilip sir, one very important thing I would like to share. Generally, low question answer session may come, jate, but I can see the participants are in tech. Same, even though Thank it is you. half an hour, it is extended. Thank you. So it is something very uh, good with you, probably positive vibrations are there that is working. An appeal is there to all the participants. We are continuing with the series of webinar. Tomorrow also we have, day after tomorrow also we have a good institution like this. All A double plus we have invited. And uh, towards this full month, we have some eight to 10 such webinars. So you please log into our website and participate to gain more and spread this message so that it can be beneficial to all the stakeholders of higher education all over the country. So uh, would you like to speak something from your end? Uh, uh, I request Dr. Ashish to say th thanks for our session. Yeah, please. On the onset, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, please. Yeah. yeah. On the onset, uh, let me thank uh, from the entire LSVP team, uh, Professor Dilip Kumar Durea and all the panelists who have shared their experience uh, because uh, LNIP being a national institute has an additional responsibility on their shoulders uh, to bear the torch of physical education in the country. So uh, we are really thankful to the National Assessment and Accreditation Council and your team for providing us uh, this opportunity. Uh, especially, special thank to Professor S.C. Sharma, Director, uh, Vinita ji, Pratibha ji, and Kaude ji, uh, that uh, you have very nicely organized uh, this webinar. And uh, we are happy to uh, uh, take up the learnings and the best practices from each other. That's how we can build a better higher education system. Thanks, one and So nice. Thanks, Ashish ji, for your good words. Thanks. Namaste to everybody. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Daniel, please. Thank you. Well done. Goodbye. We, you received applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.